up right where they left off last season. When it's a big event, they come to play. Yeah! Defending Briar champion Pat Simmons rolling right along this week in Grand Prairie, three and two, and a berth in the playoffs, still within reach. John Epic also has his sights set on the weekend, but one more loss could spell the end of a dream this week. Simmons, Epic, Canada Cup, it continues. It was the Hudson's Bay Company that first set up a trading post in the late 1800s here in the uh, Peace Region, and the city of Grand Prairie was incorporated in 1914. Day three of play, and this morning, in draw seven, Kevin Cooey, two-time Canadian champion, a world title to his name against Reed Carruthers out of Winnipeg, West St. Paul. And this is the kind of touch of a Canadian champion. Tap it up, score two, as Cooey looks very good as he goes on to the win. A win over Carruthers, also in men's play on the ice. Laycock keeps himself alive, beats Pat Simmons. Women's play a lot decided. Jennifer Jones, remember, lost her first two, has now won three in a row. Rachel Holman wins, so does Val Sweeting. So what does it all mean? Today, this afternoon, if Kevin Cooey can win his game, he's guaranteed a playoff spot. On the women's side, Rachel Holman, 5-0. She is into Sunday's final. Val Sweeting has guaranteed herself at least a tiebreaker. Any of the teams at four losses, Flurry, McDonald, and Rock, have been eliminated. As on this Friday afternoon, we say hello, Canada, and welcome back to a Grand Prairie. Cheryl Russell alongside. People still talking about that uh, dramatic uh, Briar win by Pat Simmons. Looked very good then, looking good now, so... Are there similarities? Well, no question, especially with Pat himself. He's on fire again, just like he was winning that national championship. 94% in his three victories. The problem, Vic, is the two losses. No support, too many rocks in play. You can't make him if you can't see him. He's only 76% in the two losses. Pat's going to have to keep this simple. That's the key so that he's got some room. One thing that the Olympics has done, Cheryl, is teams rebuild after every uh, Olympic run. So after going one and six in 13 in Winnipeg, John Epping went boom, blew up his team, picked up three players. Then last year changed again at third. Matt Cam is in. So are they still learning about each other? Absolutely. This is another one of those first year teams that we always talk about. And what you're trying to do is figure out the chemistry and the tendencies and learn from that, and not let it frustrate you. The key today is not allowing steals. They've allowed eight stolen ends this week, and it's way too high. So I think that says to me, you're not bailing soon enough when you have the hammer. So maybe open it up sooner. The other key is going to be shutting down Pat Simmons. He doesn't miss many draws, so shut down that forefoot and make it a little tougher for him. The keys to the game are brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. When we come back, it is Simmons against Epping from here in Grand Prairie. On its own, got one touch come it. across, touch it. Oh. He'll get his three. Brilliant. Stopping. Oh. Get off, oh. run it back, get a nice. move. Yes, they go. Get there, keep moving, keep moving. Yep, yep. Oh. Big Brothers runs it back. You got to hey, touch Josh. everything oh. you bet he is. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. By Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. And by Ford. Proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. John Epping, Pat Simmons. It's our men's feature here on a Friday afternoon at the Canada Cup. Time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware Homeowners. Helping homeowners with expert advice. Hello, I'm Skip Pat Simmons. Our lead is Nolan Thiessen. Second, Carter Rycroft. Third, John Morris, and we curl out of the Glencoe Club in Calgary, Alberta. Hi, I'm Skip John Epping. Our lead is Tim March. 
Our second is Pat Jansen, and our third is Matt Cam, and we curl out of the Denelda Club in Toronto, Ontario. Pat Simmons with the early advantage. He's won the draw to the button. So he will have the last rock. He'll have the hammer here in number one, playing the red stones. John Epping out. Right there, fellas. That's where I want it. He'll play the yellow stones. And to get us underway, the Epping team from the Donalda Club in Toronto, this is Tim March. We expect to see a pile of rocks in play, uh, Cheryl, in this game. Uh, both these teams uh, like rocks in play. Pat, not quite as much as John, but uh, there's a John on the other team, uh, John Morris, that loves rocks in play. So it's, I think it's all about uh, knowing when to bail, not getting yourself into, uh, into too big a mess too, uh, too late in the end. Well, and they both come into this event in quite different positions. This will be Epping's 10th event, and this oh, yeah. is Simmons, I think, fourth event. So, That's right. you know, they've both, one team's played a lot this little year, which I think you have to as a first year team. Please. The other team is yep. kind of building for the Briar. Please. Yep, yep, yes. Yes. I was actually up early enough this morning, maybe around 11, to watch part of the game. And, um, it, uh, it, was, it was actually a shade quicker than it has been all week, and it already is a quick surface. So a lot of rocks are getting behind that tee line early in the game. You are a night owl. You don't turn it off till nearly 6 in the morning. So <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for Whoa. Vegas. No. Wow. Troll, please. So a little mistake yes. uh, with that yes. first yes. stone of March slipping well, in. And now Simmons right through right Nolan Thiessen. Right right and then that one will Safe stay pass. out front. Center line guarded. Here's a wonderful example of what we just talked about, patience. Pat's not going to go around that guard, which he could to try to set up an error. He's just going to leave it open here. Back eight. Well, you right see here. this move a lot. Sometimes We're in the ninth end when you're trying to force a blank or you want a blank, hoping the opposition chases you, and then you get a chance to run up and peel that center. Well, we mentioned this uh, John Epping team uh, is really a work in progress with the addition of uh, Matthew Cam at third this year as we say good afternoon. Kathy Gauthier. You know, it's interesting, Cheryl. In the opening, you said that eight times that they have been stolen against the most in the field eight times this year they have lost qualifying games and for John Epping he says if he converts even half of those they would say that they're having a good year but that's eight big losses and it's inconsistencies he'll talk about making six of eight perfect shots but then they get a zero not a half shot but zeros and that's what is bringing this team down he also spoke to the fact that they are four different releases on this team and what he's starting to find is that the mental fatigue creeps in in trying to ice four different players four different ways. So that's what he's done so far this year on the World Curling Tour, currently 13th at uh, just over $22,000. Qualifying at four. And his best finish a third. One of the things, too, is I'm talking with uh, their coach, Jim Wilson. Uh, he thinks that this, these last two games here at the Canada Cup, he believes that Matthew Cam at third and Epping have worked their best together all season trying to get that communication down. Remembering, of course, that March Jansen and last year Travis Fancett were, were made up, the Fancett made up the team. All formerly with uh, Mark Keane. And then last year, dropped Fancett and brought in Matthew Camp. Uh, it's a solid team. A lot of talent out here. They're the front end, the whole team is in a tremendous shape. Uh, it's a run for the Olympics, no question about it. But it, it, we've talked about it. That's been the theme this week is the teams that have had a couple years together are really performing well right now. It's just going to take these guys another spiel or two or maybe to the end of the year to really perform the way they, they can. When you see a lot of teams these days, though, you know, Holman's one of them. Um, I think uh, Cooey's another team. They do try to get their all four releases as similar as they can, and that might be something that Epping's going to have to work on in the off season because it is very tiring for Skip to be trying to figure out all those different releases coming at them. When we mentioned they started very late uh, in uh, Vernon, their first event was October, and they won it. So this is their fifth event. 
and uh, winning fourteen thousand dollars. This this team, and here's one of the reasons. I mean, Carter Rycroft, he has a business, a couple of them. I saw him yesterday in the hallway. He's on the phone, and I just overheard. And I hope he doesn't mind me saying. Well, if he wants that with him, we'll have to get it delivered to him. I, I, I mean, right now I'm here, and I, but just deal with it, would you? And okay. So you're trying to run your life from here. One of the things they decided was that win at the Briar gives them the spot this year in Ottawa. It also gives them a spot in the pre-trial. So while they would love to win the spot directly to Ottawa, some of the pressure is off. And they're just basically taking it through the pre-trials at this moment. Could the team change? Possibly, if something gets in the way. But right now, that's their thought process. That's what you teach when you're when you're doing these curling clinics and you're, you're saying you know, team dynamics and you've got to be on the same page. You really do because some teams want to play uh, one spiel a year, enter the provincial playdowns, go to the briar and enjoy themselves. And there's other teams that want to be the Olympic champions. And there's a, the different dedication factor, different time commitments. And uh, this team just life gets in the way with this team, and uh, they've recognized it. They're on the same page. Go, go, go. Ah, good Bit of a mistake here by Carter Rycroft over curled. He talked about those rocks not being similar, and that gave Epping the opportunity to come around and lay two here. Hot, 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 hot wait. Never, never. never. Whoa. Little big. Whoa. Carter. Carter. Trying to get it to move a little bit. We've seen a lot of rocks grab early in the game or closer to the center line, so I think they expected <laughs> that to happen on that one. It just didn't really grab at the end. Kurt. I almost think we have to. So Matt Cam throwing third stones played in the Briar last year with the Mark Keane, the Ontario champions. They went five and six. A former Ontario no, junior Whoa. champion, silver medal winner with the Canadians wait, back wait, in 2011. You gotta wait. T. T. Back four. Oh. Oh. You want That's really right. out there. It's going to have to finish hard to get any part of that rock underneath cover. There's an example of John's style. John could have hit that red one on the corner there and uh, limit any chance of a big end here. Now there's a lot of red ones kicking around here. They got to be a little bit careful here. Come on. Speed's like right up here. I like so this. third rock here, Johnny. I think it's good now. Sure. We're going out turn. That's interesting. Changing the turn. Is that because of what they just saw spot. maybe on Cam Stone? That would be my guess is they don't feel there's quite enough bite, enough finish on that side. So they feel like they have much better chance of success with the curly turn. Oh, roof. Line's good. Lots of roof. Line's fine. Nolan Thiessen. Gotta go for weight. Go ahead, switch, switch, switch. go ahead, go hard. Again, now this, uh, easy, what we're tending to see now is the new style. Hard, hard, easy, easy, easy. That push hard, stroke go, is go, the hard, uh, hard, more forceful hard, stroke. Hard. So if you want that stone to go in that direction, it's that person, Thiessen. So he pushes towards the direction you want the stone to go. Yeah, it's almost thick like it's 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 like the, the grain in a, in a golf green. You, Nolan's creating grain. He's, he's, he's making the, the ice slant a little bit towards the center line side here with that powerful push stroke. So you, the rock hopefully will follow that. And then Carter jumping in is basically to carry the stone a little further. Right, right. You'll notice too, they've gone one step farther than that where they've got it in a relatively yeah, abrasive uh, synthetic broom the and they've got the hair and the hair kind of polishes a little bit better so if they wanted to go a little farther you might see the guy with the hair broom get in there and try to polish it and get another foot or two of speed 
Well, and the other theory with the Harrow in front is the synthetic doesn't pick up debris as well, so mm -hmm. the Harrow in front at least you'll not get picks or anything using that. Top floor, Top floor good. Good. Mine's good. Wanna go here, wait's good. Oh, easy right now. There. You look close. Small bump. Oh, oh, oh. It's got to move. How much? Just bumping. Back four, no. back four. No, 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 just lock it on the edge. Whoa, 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 easy. No, Timmy, it's easy. there. Easy, easy, Timmy. <laughs> Okay. Just gives it a little rub, pushes it further under that center line guard. This Second and third ours. shot belong to Evan Simmons with last rock, not, no. and he is the shot star. Like, it's ultra fast. Don't you? He, it like oh, yeah. he just threw right there, and it's like it's it's a gradual spot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Hair not, high doesn't kill. Not feeling yeah. like it's oh, curling right. that's, as, that's hard as, as they have seen. Just gradual, yeah. nice curl. As the week goes along, the te textured rocks, they start off really crisp, a lot of curl. They bite into the pebble. It'll st slowly start to smooth out. Every time you throw a rock, it'll smooth out a fraction. No different than that good stuff coming home. It's Pat. quite possible they're starting to straighten out a hair. It's definitely quick again, though. Everybody's deep. And really, all these teams uh, should know the stones. They are the, the association stones, and during practice on Tuesday here, everyone was out with their book and going, oh yeah, I remember number two on that one, and I remember that <laughs> set, and <laughs> adding to it. And Not unlike a caddy pulling out the... Real close. Line's good. The course -line right now. fairway go. markings and green line's markings. Good. So true. Line's, line's Whoa! Perfect. Still looks there. Line's good. Great line's opportunity good. to freeze in the pocket. For line Whoa! Line's good! Whoa! Whoa! Line's good. Whoa. Yep. No. Oh, Wait, oh, sir. Oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Does it two underneath? Oh yeah. Just over curled on them. Hair off. Just a hair low. Eh? Lost the line, eh? Yeah. It's actually, a little more than hair low, because to get that to go. Yeah, you gotta hit it like here. Yeah. Yeah. Should be real close. Yeah. Let's make it. Yeah. How do you think it'll run? I think it'll run. Pin I straight. think it's gonna run dead straight. Throwing the outing. Yeah. Yeah. Intern You heard John say, I think it's going to run dead straight with these uh, blue hone inserts. They just don't so curl with speed. Side. And John can throw speed like all the other top players. More. This is gone. This will go this way. It'll be interesting to see how close that top red one gets to this rock. He might get lucky and get that quarter one out of there, too. Final stone for Epping. It's Simmons that does have the last rock. But this is a big shot trying to. Get oh, two oh, off the button. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, no, nothing no. from March, nothing from Jansen. All on its own, run it back. Oh, oh, and there's oh, that oh, jam oh, you were talking about. Oh, but they are sitting three, and so it leaves the, uh, the street draw. <laughs> Great throw for first, and you're guessing a little bit on ice here. Yeah, we're just going to stay on top of that. Yeah. I don't think it's quick. That is that race stone? They got a bit of a break. If that race stone spins a little more, maybe there's a chance for a double for the deuce. That's true. Inch more. That's the same. Line. Throw the spot, you know. This is a huge shot. Advantage that he's was able to throw at the rock before that gives you a little bit better confidence, especially in the first end Facing three with his last Pat Simmons burn it. Oh. Lines good He's Lines full good. four foot Wait's good. It's got a curl boys. It's Lines spot. Whoa No, 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 no And again picking it up. That's the direction you want the stone to go big time big time big time Little rub and roll in, little wick, and to the pin. Got more ice than what we were doing. Yeah, not, that's why. Pat Simmons I opens have with a single. Other games on the ice on this uh, Friday afternoon. Well, we told you, Kevin Cooey, a win for him will guarantee a playoff spot. Brad Gushu trying to keep himself alive. Big win for Steve Laycock earlier today against Pat Simmons. Brad Jacobs against Reed Carruthers and 
Cherry Madon trying to keep herself alive against Christy McDonald, who has been eliminated. All the four lost teams on the ladies' side are out of contention. So let's start our updates, and we'll drop in on Kevin Cooey against uh, Mike McEwen, Kathy. Well, that red stone, that was Mike McEwen's final stone, made an absolute peach to come around the guard, tap the stone of Cooey's out. It is completely buried, That's so really it does awesome. force Kevin Cooey onto the draw. He needs a, more than a bite of the four, just a little bit, half a rock. Line's good. McEwen out of the uh, Glencoe Club in Calgary. That's along good, with Mark That's Kennedy, good. Brent Lang, keep and going, Ben Hebert. Keep going, make sure, Brent, make sure, make sure, make sure. Nice throw, Kevin, good shot. To the top edge of the button for good the line. single to take an early lead. Day three here at the at Revolution Place in Grand Prairie, Home Hardware Canada Cup. Nice draw against uh, three for Pat Simmons. So here in the second, it will be John Epping who has the last rock. He has the hammer playing the yellow stones. We overlook those shots sometimes, you know, yeah. we, Pat drew the four foot. Line, We've line. seen all these great okay. players do Loving. that time okay. and time Back again, four. but we Real watched uh, Real Reed Crothers miss one today and it Whoa. cost him the game and that, that's how fast it can happen. Whoa. You know, Pat gets an inch or two wide right there, the hits some pebble, comes up light, great. those little narrow ticks to guard, three oh, nothing, the game's almost oh, over. So those are huge shots. Great sweep, guys. Shot. Nice. Enter. And the other thing about this event and it further to what I was talking with uh, Epping coach uh, Jim Wilson. And we alluded to it earlier. It's there's the eight teams on the men's side. The women's is seven. Uh, it starts Wednesday. You're welcome. And um, it's over before you know it. If you stub your toe, line it up, line it up, line or you you line make up. a mistake whoa, whoa. at the Scotties or the Briar, you have other games, a long enough round robin to maybe recover. And in fact, if you lose four, you might get yourself a tiebreaker, if not directly into the playoffs. Here for, you're probably done. Gone already. That's right in the ladies' side for sure. And, and it's 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 so intense. So, uh, yeah. Top eight. Yeah, problem too for any of these competitors is there's there's, there's no uh, free space on the bingo card here. Like everybody's okay, talented. Like, like right. this young so rock right team. Like they they're very impressed. I, I they're one and four, and I'm impressed with them. Like they're a nice team, but you know Reed Crothers one and four. It's it's a tough field. As you see the scores going by uh, Back four. because of the importance now good, John. Top four. we saw a little bit of that yesterday a little bit more top open four. play whoa, whoa. in fact sometimes two just and three four. ends Perfect. of blanks just top four. before somebody actually I made the move I saying I've got to go guess. now well, you start My scoreboard watching and My you start to play no a little bit more whoa. open a little more careful great shot great shot yeah. shot Pat I knew a team years ago that would find their front end Boy. if they caught them looking at the other sheets. <laughs> no five scoreboard watch. Five dollars, which was three hundred dollars back then. It's, it's <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no. That's good. That may be a little over the top. Lions good. Lions good. Lions good. But I understand the, the reasoning, go. but Skip needed the money. <laughs> Lions wow. good. Come on, hard. How many times did that person change on, teams? Hard, good line, hard. <laughs> That's true. Hard, 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 good line. But it is it's just human nature to go, you know, yeah, we, yeah, we're hoping yeah, McEwen yeah. loses so we can jump ahead of him in the standings or something. You start watching his sheet, especially for the front ends, because they've got that little bit extra time between shots. Yeah. So what are those two uh, times? <laughs> just so I got an idea. Or you can roll it this way, roll into here. Whatever way you like, John. Yeah. Like. Three quarters. Okay, here you go. Your key, one of them, was knowing when hey, to bail. Oh, is this yeah, the fun. key? It is, because this is the issue here. that John has had, yeah, is giving up steals here. when he's had the hammer. So you need to bail and bail a little earlier, and he's doing it on the second man's last stone. Pat Jansen. Whoa! Yep! Hard! Whoa! Whoa! Clean. Clean. Not a 
I think we all forget sometimes too, especially the top men's teams that can throw it that hard. They just assume that, you know, the triple peel will be made and everything will be fine. And if it doesn't work out or you play that run back and you stick it and leave the other team buried, you, you need another shot to bail out and you, you cannot wait too long. What's your ideal weight here, John? Firm. Is that? Firm. Okay. Just firm. We've got to keep the shooter. Right on the nose? Right on the nose. Interesting. They're going to try to pick out the uh, yellow shot rock. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. You can't miss it narrow. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. And just drives it by. Straight back would have probably caught it. Oh, for sure. Looks like tight room to me. Moved, yeah. Like now that's room. curious because you said peel, that's, I'm listening yeah. today. Um, <laughs> you said because of and it's the inserts and the stones, the running surfaces. You said with up weight they don't move. This one moved. Was it the stone or was it the release? Well, I think it, John might have helped it a wee bit, and okay. then I, we just heard them uh, the front end say, "I don't think we had enough ice." So that might, but but you're right, it, it did move, and it's like it, it, on that center line. Uh, they seem to be grabbing a little bit. The center line's a bit of a magnet in this uh, in this arena. What's that, John? But John had to miss that the, the smart way. Yeah, you could have slashed anything into there and at least Easier unlock some of those stones. Hey. Miss it narrow yep. isn't the pro side miss. Hey, boys, right on the beak. Right on the nose, bud. Normal. Cheryl, what's the thought here? I mean, I know you could bump the yellows, but maybe a little too early. You're just playing third rocks. Why do you go after this stone on the uh, 12 foot? Well, because those are set up so perfect right now on the four foot. Set this up, and that's what you'll play a little later on. So you're just setting up for a bigger end. Well, unable to hold it. They could have taken. Sorry, they could have taken a long look at freezing another one. Make the fear you ever bump it. You ever, it's in such a good yeah, spot right the angles, now. Yes. Pat Jansen made the such a great freeze there. This side. Okay. Back ring. Five. But you really got to stick around if you play Okay, I like the uh, yes. intern. Hey. Can I wait? Wait, is that? Back eight. You want back eight. I think I need uh, just a hair more. Edge of four. Yeah. Like it. Now we talked about patience here. I, I find this an aggressive call here too. You know, it's uh, Epping has the advantage of hammer here. John's going to leave the uh, enemy rocks both in play here. I know what he's up to. He's trying to kind of freeze on the corner of it, unlock that perfect alignment. But there will be two yellow in play. Carter, 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 Carter. Okay. Hey, John. Better. Darn it. it. Took its time a little bit, actually, eh? I thought the line was good halfway there. You didn't know to throw it either. Yeah. yeah you like maybe that. touch this a bit. Sure. Stay there. Okay. Freeze into there is pretty good. It's pretty Cut automatic. Double to double six right three, right but that's just going to. Here, congest boy. them all together yeah, and there'll so probably be a, a double or triple for Pat. Being patient. Back four. T, oh, oh, oh. top. top four. Matt yeah, Camp. Good. Easy. Mine's good. T, T a little heavy. No, no, no. no, no. Back, back four, back four. Back eight. No, no. Good judge, Pat. No, no, no. Let it come over. Whoa. Let it come over. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard! Hard! Good spot. Sure, oh. Judge. Thanks. Well. Normal heads. Yeah, you just, that was just straight line. I think yeah, you can just, only make one go away. Play a feel yeah. right at this and try to make this. Would the back here. double go, Cheryl? If you hit the left hand rock thing with a pile of weight, would you kick out that shot rock? Well, you could kill this one and just save the shooter, right? I wouldn't Move this see out it. Of the way. Maybe the weight. You We're can, only they killing can one. Throw, you might. 
Yeah, I guess a quarter rock is. not really thin. You might, you might get two of them spinning. You I might think get we're only spinning. getting one regardless, so we might as well just try and keep this, just keep ours bunched The only thing I'm here. worried about is if this goes to here, then it's. Yeah, I think you just got to make so one. So I think you want to nut that then, right? Or you could blast this right on the nose. And you're going to go and you're going to kind of move this out of the way. No, that's like trouble. trouble. You might not kill this, Looks but like you'll trouble. at least change that angle. But then they'll, they'll be lying probably too. Danger Bay. I like your first call. Okay. <laughs> so I think we want to be like. We talked a second ago about that this. And just with like John Morris could have played that. That same shot control. still available. Control. He could have played that on his first that's one and he wouldn't be in this mess, but they elected to get aggressive. That's the scary part for this team. They left yellow in play. Now they're, they might pay for it. Should be fairly gradual. Oh, yeah. I love being aggressive. That's the way I always played, but it's you, you, you kind of want to do it when you have oh, last brick. Not, not in this case. The yellow are building up here. So what? Just my side or what? Yeah. Control way. Yeah, your side. Their hope now is to get rid of one and hope that they set something up to give them a double or something to get out of it at the end. Slides under the shot stone, shot rock. Still belongs to Epping, and it's now corner frozen on the Simmons stone, which provides some backing. Good news is you got two shots for two. This one might be for three. If I draw here, bad John. Yeah, I think so. Ideally, there you just don't want to be there. Yeah. What's that? I just don't want to be there. I think it makes no difference. I think. That's going nowhere. Really? Yeah, but I mean, you're in a tough time getting two if you ever. For there, I still have the double, right? And then if we're there. That's good. That's good. Like this is, I think this I is think the shot. Yeah, agreed. If you ever go here, I don't think it's the end of the world. It's not bad. Because you have this shot for two, maybe and three, and shot. you got and this, got for, this two. Shot for two. Yeah. Let's go there. That top this yellow one is going yeah, nowhere. So I think that, the thought process is how that shot uh, stone that's right on the button and how to prevent it from going anywhere if they play a big run back weight shot. So tier better, boys. Yeah, right on the tee. Exactly. Yeah. Tier better wouldn't hurt. Like if he gets tucked around and freezes on the on the yeah. shot rock, and if it springs out of oh boy, that'd be great for us. That'd make it funny. <laughs> because then we can blast One team likes so that, but just put it right in the corner. And the other spring out of it. Great for us. Yeah, there's danger here with John, and yeah, there's yeah, still a to, uh, red a tap for Pat too. Yeah. Is Pat his second shot here? John's going to have to move it to score uh, multiple points. Line will be good. T. Yep. yep. Line only. Yep. We yep. John Epping in his first. Where? Top Where? four. Top four. Yeah, Watch on the left. Right, Chance it on the right. Come. Get it on the T. You gotta get around Your line's really good. It's all about the whoa, carry whoa, whoa, here. Whoa. T. Yep. We're there. Whoa, 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 We're there. Whoa, 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 We're there. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll, 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 we'll let it stop right there. That's exactly it's where he wanted it. Go good. Thanks. Beautiful throw. Great judge on the sweeping, too. I mean, we can, go, we can make it real good, and it's uh, just an absolute gimme, though, eh? But if you go right to here, it's a nose. It's a it's it's nose hit. For I three. guess yeah, for three. At least. I think the best is to the best is actually probably to, to wiggle off this one here and stay keep your shooter here high. Uh, is there any hits here that's any good? Like what if we? Probably you, not now, eh? If you hammer this, does this go out like that? If it doesn't, they get three. Just it's just too thin, Nolan. Too thin. This yeah. any good, Carter? Nose hard. 
That doesn't go probably enough, eh, this one? Probably not. No, if we probably, guard... I might leave him with a draw for four. I think we got to play this. Okay. All right. I like the shot you, that Johnny's you, just drawing up. You if you can tap it back seven, like that, then there's a bit of a pocket with with well, he can, he can get rid of this, this rock and this can rock get, will stop the no. uh, red one from getting out of there. What do you think of Nolan's idea if you uh, slice that stone top edge, that red stone top edge of the eight, slice it sideways, do you kill two? I don't think so because you, you, when you hit a rock that thin, it loses so much energy. Okay. He just backs it into the fire. Ah, uh, just, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's not waste any more time. Okay. I top it right there. This all could have been prevented, right? They had the easiest double in the world to sit three. Yes, you might not force them on it. Probably was going to be a blank end, but I think uh, Pat and John would take a blank end at this point in time. Just throwing back four weight. Yeah, so just right there then probably. Eh? Well, yeah, but that's about so fast. They thought they had to go right like yeah, they were. It's different from coming off E. Yeah, what a night and day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sliver last yet, John. Yep. Pat Simmons and the team scored one in the first. In some trouble now and with his last trying to limit the damage. Pat, uh, Pat's heavy here at all rolls open. He sets up the Bucky, easiest double in the world for four. Bucky! Wow! Where? Where? Back row! Back row! Uh oh. Whoa! At least. Whoa! Oh boy. Well, I've talked about this ice being faster, and I think that's just what caught him over a little bit of an overthrow. In our opening, we yeah. talked about patience, and, and they just weren't. John missed the wrong way, and then they just decided they'd, they'd draw their way out of it. And without the advantage of last stone, you're really taking a chance against a world class player. Now, the interesting thing here, let's go back to that stone of. Uh, I think it was John Morris, and you said that center line yes, can buddy. be a bit of a magnet. Yes. Here. So. Uh, they yeah. have to guard maybe we got a little bounce, a bit a little bit of over curl here. Oh, very true. Final stone, but it has the potential of being a four spot. Final rock. Catch it, run Whoa. it back, Whoa. make the double, bang, bang, and sit, roll sit. and sit and sit. Shot. And now it'll be close. Huh. It looks like it could be. It's three for sure. And now they'll look. And from overhead, it looks like it is four. They're going to call for the measure. I thought I saw. I thought I saw. Call Great throw, John. I'm scared. I think it's yes, sir. For sure. Good throw. Great end, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Great shot. Good, yeah. nice. Good finagling. <laughs> Hindsight being what it is, did you have to play with this kind of weight to get the same action? And then if you could play it a little less, the shooter doesn't roll so much. No, for sure. No, for sure. But it, it, if you did hit it in the wrong angle, you needed, you wanted to have that speed to make sure you got your three. So it, it, I think it was a let's get three and then see what happens. And a little afraid of that center line. Right. They've think, seen it. Yeah. Stuff over curl. Great and great rock positioning by Team Epping. Well, Patrick Jansen started off that great freeze he made, and that shot was still. Or it is. Yeah. <laughs> John Epping puts four on the board in the second. Pat Simmons finds himself and the team down by three. A four in the second by Epping gives them a big jump early. Here on this Friday afternoon, welcome back to Grand Prairie, Alberta, day three. Our coverage of the Home Hardware Canada Cup here in the third. It's going to be Simmons. And the team from the Glencoe Club in Calgary with Last Rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones. Throw that one second. Throw it seven, eight. And we talked about patience. I didn't see it out of the team Morrison. 
Simmons team here. They they just uh, thought they could finesse their way out of a pretty simple situation early on, and they um, full credit to Epping though. Some of the rock placements were just bang on. Pretty simple shot Line's before. Pretty good. A little more positive on actually. Line's pretty good. And like little you said, I like line. the weight that he's Looks turned that last one. You just, mm. We've seen some strange things on yeah. the center line. You just want to make sure you at least get line's your three. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Full eight. happy with three. Yeah. Full eight. Full eight. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't you find, Cheryl, uh, all the top teams, uh, they're, they're taking the curl out of the equation. Uh, you know, they throw it clean. And the, the, as we mentioned, these rocks don't curl much. Was grit. Gives the... Um, it's all there. Sk skip a little bit of a break too right for ice the, rating. You're yeah. not having yeah. to figure out releases and ice. Those shots pretty Two much you put the broom down in the middle of the rock and throw it hard. Right back, Carter, as long as it's not through. Oh. All right. And back it goes, stopping just in the back 12. Good thing for Pat and his team is, you know, 10 in games. If you're going to give up something like that, that early, they're only three down. You just keep managing ends. Don't panic. Get your deuce. And 10 ends is a lot. There's a lot more advantage to come back than when you're playing the eight end games. It's a real different mindset, isn't it? I used to find in the eight end games, you, you, you almost weren't as aggressive early because you're a little afraid yeah. to give up that two or steal yeah. a one, and you just don't have time to get back. Please. 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 Thing, uh, Jim Wilson Please. was pointing out too the. On tour, they play a five rock rule, and he, yes. he thought as well that sometimes the five rock rule takes the advantage of last rock away mm -hmm. when you're trying to come from behind. Oh, no question about it. It's an exciting rule to watch, but it's it's a little bit frustrating to play. You could be uh, you know ahead of a team the whole game, out curling, you know your two or three points up, you've earned it, you've spent two and a half hours in the lead, and all of a sudden. It's mayhem in that last 10, which is fun to watch. Yep. Yep. Hard to wait. Clean, clean. Kathy oh. dropping in on Brad Jacobs, Reed Carruthers. Carruthers, after a blank in the first, got one with the last rock in two. Final stone coming up now for Brad Jacobs. Well, Brad spent a lot of time in the hack, really looking to see how much space he's got. There is a guard there that's difficult to see. And that is certainly in his peripheral vision. Last stone just thrown by Reed Carruthers. Was that corner freeze? So what's he trying to do here? He's trying to get to the inside just a little bit. And squeeze wow, it out. Okay, very nice. Wow. Squish. Boy. And he picks up the deuce. Great shot. Two. There's a team that's improving week after week also. They're, they're just about right back to that Olympics forum. Well, we said it yesterday with regards to Jennifer Jones. I think sometimes you, your self-expectation is so high. Uh, and they've turned it around, Jones. They've won three in a row after losing their first two. And gonna get there, no problem. Jacobs now at three and one. A chance to take a big step towards a possible playoff spot. Well, and commitments, we've talked about that too with Jacobs and the Olympic commitments and Jones and sometimes that, you know, something's got to give now and then and sometimes it's level of play and, and you know, as long as you come back and get back to it and keep working as a team, then that's not a big of an issue, but it's going to happen when you committed to so many things. Not unlike yourself. We've that's noticed right. everywhere, every day, there's Shoot, something. <laughs> Cheryl's here, Cheryl's there. <laughs> Climbing a mountain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then there's Russ and stay right in front yeah. of it, eh? Begging yeah. me. <laughs> Just a hair high. Watching <laughs> socks. What way she like? Mort? Yeah. How was your day? Good. Ironed this morning. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Sean Morris. Whoa! So close. Clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. Yes! Hard. Hard. Again, that hard. center line, as you say, is this hard. Real hard. Is this little magnetic Real strip. Hard, Pat. Other one. Which one do you want to take, Pat? <laughs> you got you spinning like a top. I don't know how that's curling there. 
I've, I've got pretty good rocks. I think they're just curling. I think we just wow. got... I hit last set surprises too. Straight a spot, that should be. Well, there hasn't been any play there though. It's a little fresher, right? There's your answer. Yeah. It's different. I think it's more the out turn going home as much as the in turn going away. What do you like now? Yeah. Just no, nose or a hair high, eh? Yeah, nose or hair You could be the world's yeah, best shot maker and curl 50%. <laughs> if you don't get that broom in the right spot, don't figure out the spots in the ice, the lanes, the speed, the, the rocks. Johnny thinks he's got a couple of good ones that are curling a bit, and that'll come in handy later in the game if they're down. Close. Yep. Whoa. Pat Jansen. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you know. Tim March. It's good shot, Matty. And avoids the jam at the back, so they are sitting three, but without last rock. John Epping. Plus, you like the double shots, this Epping team. Shot, Matty. Thanks. Well, that seems hair. to speak to their year, as you know, Kathy was saying when she talked to John. Is they've had some great games. They'll have it's six good shots in an end and just can't finish it. Him. And you know, and up and down oh, they yeah. qualified. I think in in the nine events and they qualified in four events. So just a little bit of inconsistency, yeah. event to event. Okay, Johnny. Okay. Dead T, or are you going? Uh, I think deep? we want to go back four. Okay. Let's bait him into a freeze here. <laughs> He said, there, what do you got? Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Good line. No, not, Line's good. You. Clever thinking Should be all there, boys. He's thinking uh, yeah, if you have to come around uh, in front of the tee line, which you're trying line's to do, good. it's such a short run. So yeah, line's they're going to try to get hard. it behind the tee line, see if John will chase it. Hard, back four. Back four. Back four. Back four. Hard, Carter, hard. Hard. Keep going. Whoa, whoa. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's good. That's good. And very nice to the back four. So let's see what the decision is. The hook is out. I'd rather that brings the fish. That's exactly it. Vegas. He's making him think about it now. The run back would yeah. be the the call with the score the way it uh, is. Right. He looked at the worm, but he didn't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Had him thinking. Zero ice taken here by John. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Skip stones here in three. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Got it. Oh, he stuffed it at the back, and then the raised rock will hey, John. have its own catcher on the right. side. It's close at the top, makes a big difference, and I think it's yellow. It's real bad. Yeah. No, no hitter, just a hair high. Um, I think solid board. Okay, because it's a nice, it'll hold the spot. So. Wow, it should. Yeah. I, I don't know why yours curled there, a little tighter line, but solid board. Aren't you going to try to instead of the, making the easy double? I think you're going to hit and roll, curve. try to flop on top of that yellow. You need to have one frozen on the right hand side and one. Uh, in behind cover at the left hand. Okay, bud. Solid board. Just a sliver half inside rock nose. Roll. Eh? Yeah, nose isn't terrible, but nose there you go. Good. Half a rock roll. What do you think of that ice, guys? For board. Yep. Solid board. Oh! Hair bar. Oh, just... Hair bar. Looks John. Me. Like that. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen many rocks down out here, no. so it could still have some pebble and grab. Lots of weight. Whoa, whoa. Pat Simmons whoa. his first. Clean, clean. Whoa. Carter, Carter. Whoa. Carter. Roll up on top. Oh, then he just rolls a little too far, it appears. McHugh and Cooey in a 1 1 tie. And uh, Kevin Cooey's last coming up here in three. Well, he had a chance to learn draw weight on his first one, buried. 
And Mike Can't McEwen ran last. his own Still guard on, back maybe. and picked that stone Line out. Three. It does lie three. Needs a Should bite of the okay, four. Should be okay, guys. Line Six four. Two feet four. Yeah, so Johnny Sin runs super fast here. As you can see, Cooey at four and one. Perfect. A win by Kevin Cooey would clinch Doesn't a playoff ready. spot. Yeah. That's a good scrub, guys. Nice shots, Kevin. Really good shots. <laughs> to take the lead. Just rolled a fraction too far for Pat. T right now. Back eight. Four. Yep. Wait's good. Line's good. Where? Back four. Got to go a bit. Back Wait's four good. is fine. Right here. It's good. It's got to move. Line's right here. good. Right here. Line's good. Freeze it. Line's, Line's good. good. Right here. Wait's Freeze good. it. Wait's good. Hard. Right here. Come on. Hard. We're there. Can't Mark. hurt it. Whoa. Can't hurt it. Whoa. Jackson. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Right here, fellas, right here. Come on, little more right what? there. Give a shot, John. Thanks. 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 Hey, all in. There's a hair like right in the middle somewhere. Bro, John. Let's go get it. Tell you when John Epping, I uh, watched John for years. He was, uh, yeah, I was in Ontario for a while with him, and he, uh, when he gets on a roll, when he gets in a zone, it's unbelievable. And just further to what my discussion with Jim Wilson, their coach, he said, look, at you just can't afford to make mistakes against the top teams and you're punished for them. Mm -hmm. And he says it just happens to be one mistake in a game and they yep. s you lose it. And if you if you can avoid those, you're going to win more. But they just had a bad Ontario last year. Yeah, that's true. Bad one. That's all. Okay. Lion's good. Lion's good. No, no backing. Straight draw, boys. Clean. Pat Simmons, his final stone. Straight draw, no backing to the edge of the button. To pick up the single. Has his point, but Epping leads it by two. It's all on its own. Has she got one here? Has she got one here? She sure does. <laughs> they had to wait and wait and wait and wait. Did she make this? Oh, come on. Incredible. She made it. Val <laughs> Sweeting. Val Sweeting is the defending Canada Cup champion and with a record of four and one has guaranteed herself at least a tiebreaker and tonight she'll be in our featured game against a Jennifer Jones team that has turned it around losing their first two have now won three in a row we'll have it for you at 8 30 p.m. Eastern time on TSN one three four and five we already know that Rachel Holman is into the final so this could be in fact a preview of the semi-final in the women's side of things here at the Home Hardware Canada Cup. As we welcome you back to Grand Prairie Revolution Place. Sean Epping's four in the second jumps off the board, doesn't it? He leads it now 4-2 after Simmons got the single in three. And so here in this. And it will be Epping that has had last rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellowstone. And two perfect guards by no long and then a tight one perfectly in line. Line's good. A little wide still. Wait as long as you can. Okay. A little wide still. Wait as long as you can. Top eight, John. Wait as long as you can. Tell me when. Well, well, just, well, well, just, let it, just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go in. Curl. It's good. It's good. Good. good see you guys. Good. That's where Pat Simmons has decided he's going uh, basically all or nothing here. Uh, trying to steal, doesn't have last shot. Threw up the second guard. It's pretty early to do that, but you know what he's thinking. Well, this is the team he'd have a chance against because they are a team that does give up steals. Now, typically it's when the game's closer and they're a little mm -hmm. too aggressive, so but you might get an opportunity against them. Yeah. Yep, yep, hard line. Really hard. 
hard. Real hard. Whoa. Wait, there. Whoa. Whoa. A little light, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead if it's light. Hard. hard Line's hard, real good. Hard. 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 Just behind the button. Okay. It's a good shot. Good Kurt. shot. Control. Spectacular shot. Steve Laycock has come back with a single and three to tie Brad Guju as they go to the fourth. Move it or freeze. And Christy McDonald trying to play spoiler with her four losses. She's been eliminated in women's play. Picks up a single down 2-1 to Sherry Madon. Great spot, Carter put that first one there. You, you tap the one back freeze, so they can freeze to it. Give us -line, Carter. But he also get lined up the like red yellow. Here comes the freeze. I'd say it's all there. Might have line's to go tight, line. Wait, it's good. Easy. Okay, line's good. Stay close. It's gonna Where come is up. it? Line's good. T line bump. Small bump. Whoa. Whoa. Brad Jacobs up 2 1 as we drop in oh, on the game with Jacobs going. and Carruthers. One stone. I know it's there. It's behind <laughs> Mr. Muscowie. There's the shot rock. There it is. And uh, run back for a bunch, I think. It really is. It's a risk and reward. Retrailing by one. And the draw is not that difficult. But if he's able to pick this out, three for sure. And if he sticks a shooter, it's four. Reed Carruthers with four losses really does need this one to keep himself alive. Run it back. Oh, he's going to crash on his own up top. Yeah. And it results in a steal of one for Jacobs. Yes. Really hard. Really hard. You really got to go. Maybe a little wall. <laughs> Good. Beauty. Yeah. Very good. I like it. Heard that one, Johnny. All there. Pretty nice Halfway. situation for Pat already oh, here. The uh, pretty tight right now. Very accessible to tap later. Clean. Just going to protect for a while. Almost in. Yeah. Two thirds. Clean. Two thirds. Clean. Carter. Carter. Doesn't need the curl, guys. Okay, then let it stop then. Whoa. Wow, there's some finish there. Good. It's interesting. Epping was an, almost wasn't in this event because it was at the Players' Championship last year. It was Carruthers and Epping that were tied or very close for points at the True. end, and they both kind of went to Curling Canada and said it's too yep. close to call, and yep. and they talked about yep. having a playoff game to make the decision. Yep. And Curling Canada whoa, 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 decided, whoa. you know what, we'll let eight teams in. So that's why there's eight men's teams and only seven okay. women's teams. I was planning on having us use that. Sure, mate. Done. So I was planning on having us use that. <laughs> Another guard by John with only two left at some point in time. Epping knows what Pat's up to here. He's going to try to tap that frozen or tap it to sit two. A little bit early. Let it work. Let it work. Mine's good. Mine's okay. Mine's good. Both the same. Yeah. Whoa. Close to the same spot. Whoa. Mine's good. Whoa! Clean. Clean Carter's, Carter's one ready. of the best. He ignores the woes yep. and yep. write-offs. Yep. 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 <laughs> keeps yep. that broom down. It, it's yep. really yep. good habit to get into. Oh, wow, that good. So good. Yeah. What are, you doing your first one? what are you thinking? We're kind of running out of time. Well, they got three quarters of it. Is there anything with a tap on those right rocks? I don't know. Like if, if he freezes in, if he freezes in there, we're in trouble. Like if I, if we peel and then he goes here. How does this look? Well, yeah, I'd love, yeah, i yeah. If you make that, I'm real happy. Isn't it, even if I dead stuff this, it yeah. still goes. Okay. This will roll to a corner. Yeah, as long as it doesn't go by and pick out ours. 
I mean, that's not ideal. Our rock there. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, Well, it's an ours Our rock isn't right even now. the best thing there right now. Ours is not even. Are we it's shot? Not really helping yeah. Us. Oh, we're we're shot? oh, it's great. Oh, no, this okay. is good for us because they've got to move us. Yeah. So what do you yeah, like I'm then? fine with that. Whatever you like, John. Yeah, hair low. Hair low. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, Yellow shot, it looks like. It is. Yeah. Oh, what do you guys like? I think we got to play this. This is a. This is, what I, I, this I like is this. really a double redirection, a triple redirection. Yeah, yeah. yeah Would no. it? Yeah. Do you have to play the long guard? The the front end said you could. Can we not just play yeah, like, direct? As you look at it right yeah. now, those stones on the right, red on the yellow. You'd have to, Vic, you'd have to hit that red one by John on the inside, and yes. then it's not, the guard's in the way. Oh, okay. So they're going to use the guard to, to, do the same uh, to, thing. to get the proper yeah. angle. But yeah. you're right, oh. this is a, you know, try to make this on a pool table. Even. Yeah. Go, go, go. Okay, one, two, three, oh, and boy. touch it oh, all. What a shot. <laughs> what a great shot, Matt shot Cam. It's good, beauty. And oh, no, open up it. the front. <laughs> Oh perfect. my goodness, that was perfect is right. Just just to know the exact angle they hit it at, it was scoring just got easier. Across, angle back and touch. Beautiful. Matt really liked it. You always like it when the thrower wants to throw it. Thanks. Looks a little better now. I wasn't sure. I didn't know we were shot. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. No choice now. Make the enemy stone go race at the three. Get a great chance to force. You want to hang around here though, because if you rolled out or something, John might freeze to those two reds and make the next Pat Simmons shot a lot more tougher. Yeah, if you can't steal, you'll take a force, but you definitely don't want to give them up a deuce. Well. Clean. Clean. Yep. Oh. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Hard. And we'll sit there, sitting three, but without last rock here in the fourth. Could try and roll into that pocket. Yeah, I like it. There's no, no, no harm. No. That's hard for me. It's not to like you're blanking. Okay. Play the out turn a little flatter and roll. Seems like we got just cross out. You got this. And the other option would be freeze, but if you don't freeze for shot rock, they throw a guard on it, you might give up a point, so you have to hit this two up. And rolls it towards those eight. two on the Sorry. edge of the eight. Good throw. Looks promising. Yes. Good throw, John. Nice. Yeah. In straight for it. Yeah, I was really happy with that three. Yeah. He's in white. Okay. Go pretty aggressive. I think he'd like to roll out of there too. Maybe go Same roll way. to the edge of the eight on the other side and then spread him out. John wants to hit it. He's not he doesn't have a lot of room for error, and then you force him to draw against three. Getting it dead on is a pretty simple shot, I think, for John. That's what you have to decide. Sometimes you'd make that decision differently depending on who you're playing, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Wait's good. Clean. Clean. Same way. Yep. 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 High corner. Simmons last. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. And rolled it away. Good shot, Pat. To the edge of the four. Just those little things. That, that, that's a really uh, heads up decision there. Just roll it out of the way. John, I think, was prepared to draw, but now why would you draw when you have to hit full four foot? So now you have to hit. You know, you up the weight a bit yeah, here or something. You it's a steal of two. 
Well, and we've seen it happen. You know, the ice is a little faster. It slides on a draw, and there you go. Little quiet. Clean. Quiet. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Looking for the Whoa. hit. Whoa. And stick Whoa. to score Wait. a single. Wait, Tim. Yep. John Epping. Yep, Tim. Yep, Tim. Watching the roll now. There is that roll. That's what you talked about. And he's going to roll too far. And from getting a single, he's going to give up a steal of two. And a wow from John Epping. A perfect description. We're tied at four. Wow. Let's continue our updates now, Kathy. Let's start first with Gushu against Laycock. Must win, I think, for Brad Gushu at one and three. Well, and some of this opportunity for two has to be handed to Mark Nichols, who made a triple on his first shot. Really opened up the house for Brad. Steve Laycock tried to roll on his final, did not. And so it is an open hit. For the two. Please, please. For Brad Guju. Out of That's the Valley please. Haley Country Club please. in St. John's. Two, you guys. can land. And there it is, the deuce to take the lead on Steve Laycock out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Right beside them is Mike McEwen and Kevin Cooey. And it's 2-1 as they play in the fourth, McEwen's last. Well, it is a draw for two. There was a stone in the forefoot. Kevin Cooey tried to hit and roll under, underneath those two guards and underneath that red stone to make this a force, but he rolled right out of the house. And it's so eight foot be will be good enough for Mike for the pair. Mike McEwen not uh, feeling a top notch, bothered by a little bit of a Looks cold heavy. symptoms. And that felt a little better this morning. And there is the draw for two. So McEwen at two and two. Cooey, remember, with a win, can clinch a playoff spot. You're up to date. So Cooey top of the table at four and one. Jacobs is on the ice now, too, remember. So Simmons is in our game against John Epping. McEwen, they're all the men are playing. Cooey, we know, as I say, can clinch a playoff spot. On the women's side, Rachel Holman is into the final. And then tonight, of course, we will have Val Sweeting against Jennifer Jones. That will be our featured game when we join you at 8.30 Eastern Time on TSN. Let me remember. One, three, four, five. So what a turnaround. And no sooner had we said, you know, the problem that plagues John Epping has been the giveaway, the unforced error. Hair light. So many times, particularly last season, and there it bites him as he rolls Room. too far. Steal of two by Simmons to even at Where's four. Good. And here in the Where's fifth, good. Epping will Whoa. once again have the last rock. He has Whoa. the hammer playing the yellow Whoa. stones. No, 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 no. I don't think they quite figured out what happened with John's either. John really honestly felt he hit the broom. Nobody seemed to argue with him. Uh, they uh, thought they had the broom in the right spot. They didn't think he overthrew it. So, you know, is the ice straightening out a bit? Uh, really well curled game for Epping. All of a sudden, it's a battle. Maddie, what if we just play it with less weight? Then we keep more yellows. Okay. Is it worth it? I don't know. If you can get rid of the top red, it's pretty good. Okay. Wait. I like it. This is one of those situations again for Epping where throw some weight, bail, yeah. get some rocks moving, okay, open we it up. Don't play with that down weight. weight. That's where those steals are coming from. You're dead on, and, and, you, and you, know, you just know why he's doing it. I used to fall in this trap too. You've given up that steal of two, and you just, you're just you just grinding to get it all back in one end, and you've got to be careful. You're you playing one of the best teams in the yeah. face of the you earth that here. Good, we're in it's go there. That's gone. It's not bad. I like your call. Okay. Ah. I think he's getting talked into this by the team. You got this, buddy. Still got control, even though they did a bad hiccup there in the last uh, fourth end. But uh, tie game, you've got control here with Hammer. Don't don't give it away here. On a blank would be great to send. Hack! Hack! Pat oh, Jensen. Here's uh -oh. Yep. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Part, Tim. 
Oh, Hard Timmy. Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Hey, Pat. Rearranges him slightly. Shooter spills away. Breeze with the end. Any good? Shot rock still belongs to Simmons. Who's shot? Covering the pin. Oh, We're shot. That. You got a guard on this. Yeah, I don't mind guard that. The, yeah, okay. He doesn't really have much of that injury. He's probably playing the double field if you make this. Just a pretty high one. Halfway no. is halfway. Yeah. Epping's halfway going to take at least two tries to become double. shot rock. It's all there. Way out there. there. That's fine. Wait's good. Wait's good. Where do you want? Just high, eh? Lion's good. Yeah. Oh, no one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right off. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Well, we showed you Brad Jacobs getting the uh, single in the fourth, a steal. So oh, oh. Looks like uh, Carruthers may be able to get a couple back here. Yeah, it's really tricky, though. Brad Jacobs' final stone went around. It bounced a little bit. Close, Derek. Trying to move those stones enough that Derek, that yellow stone Derek, on the left hand that, side like, comes oh, into play. Oh, yeah. Wide early. Yeah. You were, whoa. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, Run it back. Red. Tapped him. Go. Now they've got to go. Got to go. Got to move them. Good Lovely job, shot. Nice Very nice. Reed Crothers to pick up two. Great shot, man. That's some, I didn't watch on the goal. That's some touch. Oh, oh, down weight. Great shot. Top four. Again, though, What's I mean, listen, we're not taking anything away from it, but we do, and we say this quite often. These uh, stones are very lively, so you you may not Russ, have to throw as much knowing you're going to get that action. That shot, your good point, that shot is not even available at most curling clubs. It would go, sure what uh, do. yeah, just <laughs> steal it too. <laughs> okay. That could be a little bit of what happened to Epping's last wow. stone, too, not That's understanding that there. you can throw that down weight a little bit because these rocks do yeah. really spring. Yeah, or does he have it? yeah does it's he the have same it? as my draws ran. I, I... Yeah, because yeah, if not, he freezes there, right? Yeah. You have to. Okay. Okay. Right, so right right this one. I think so. I think that's the right shot, but not or, or, the crotch. You want to be... About, what about moving it, like, one inch? Well... The more you move it, the more things kind of jiggle off the back and maybe squirt this out, though, which we don't. Well, if we don't go there, he's going there. Yeah, so. we got to do it. What do you think for speed? I think it's real nice. It's one of the quickest spots in the ice. Yeah, I don't mind it. Over I here. think just a shade last, Pat. Heavy? No, nope, it's pretty close. Whoa! Whoa! Line's good. Back four. Whoa, then. Whoa, Clean. Whoa. Line's Wait good. There. Line's good. T line. Hard Wait line. T line. line. Hard line. Third oh, stones. Yeah. John Hard Morris line. with his first. Wait only. Whoa, whoa, T -line line now. whoa, whoa. Oh, this looks like a yep. whoa, whoa. Yes, whoa, yes. Whoa, beauty whoa, here. Just whoa, pass whoa. that red. And over on top. That's okay. On the corner. Shot stone still belongs to. Better to bump that one than, than that Simmons. one. Simmons. I think, but maybe not. But you Pretty go back to what you were saying earlier. They can't really, it's you know, the, now, the, the shot always. they played with their second stone. If, you, if they play, get it open. They're not in this position, Cheryl. Exactly, and and that is his. I think Cross John face. wanted to open it up. He that was his first call, mm -hmm. and the team kind of talked yeah. him out of it. And that's the it's the timing. It's when to bail. Sherry Madoc, Christy McDonald, and as we mentioned, that McDonald had four losses. The other four lost teams are eliminated on the women's side. So trying to play spoiler here against Madoc. Well, and she's got a chance to make a, a big three spot. For Sherry Madon, two really tough shots. Make Ran sure. her final oh, stone back, but left two yellow Where? stones in play. So this is a draw to the eight foot for three. Just dust it. Just dust it. You're good. McDonald and the Great team job. of uh, Kate Cameron, Leslie, Leslie Wilson, and Renora Westcott out of the Granite Curling Club in Winnipeg. And there they are to take the lead going to the break. You could guard this again, like this one. Same as Carter's shot, I think, okay? 
<laughs> got to, yeah, because I guess the worst case is if he makes something, it's for one, right? Well, and then regarding this, then we're being more specific on this guard. And, but, yeah. yeah I think we just, because I don't mind him running that one. If this is the one that's dangerous, because right. it, it can drag it by this. Yeah. You're just guarding this right now, John. Okay, I think we take the intern. That out turn, we got to, like, go edge a... I like, I sort of like the intern. Okay. Kathy, you're on deck again here. Brad Gushu, Steve Laycock, and it's Gushu sitting the two, but it's Laycock with last rock. It is. That shot stone just hit and rolled by Brad Gushu. Those two guards are locked. No playoff there. And so for Steve, it is a draw to the button. In room. Laycock, who won a bronze room. medal last year at the uh, Tim Hortons Briar, went wait. eight and five. Whoa, yeah, the yeah. Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Whoa, 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 but you're looking like a pretty smart cookie here, uh, Cheryl. You know, you're one of your keys was uh, knowing when to bail, and they just haven't. And, it, and that comes Everything. with playing together, yeah, too, I think, and, and getting burned over and over, I think. Yeah, and first-year team, yeah. that's part of the issue as well. They, they're not all on the same page as to when that has to happen. Who's got to make that decision, Russ? Is that ultimately the skip's decision on when to bail? I guess historically, for sure, but it, it, it really, it's a team thing. There's no, you, you talk it over, decide what's working, what's not working. Close. Well, it gets rid of the uh, backing, which was the shot stone. So shot rock and uh, close for second. They may actually be sitting too epic. I know that was an issue. I can speak from experience that we had for many years was not knowing kind of when to bail, and I was fairly aggressive. And then finally we talked as a team and said, you know, you've got to remind each other sooner. You're right. Right into this one, right? Actually, I, yeah. Right into that one. Keep those two there. Same turn they just threw? Ah. Yeah, just oh. it oh. just comes up a half oh, turn, yeah. Thank you very much. After the measure, it is a steal of two for Guju. So Brad Guju will pick up the deuce. Where's the best spot? Uh, no. Go up 5 no, 1 on no, Steve no, Laycock yeah. at the break. Two options here straight back and get that red one at the uh, top of the forefoot onto the shot rock or I think what they're trying to do is have this over curl a little bit and go red red onto the side yellow and then there's a pile of red that Pat can raise with his last stone. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Skip stones. Ah! Pat Simmons is first. Shooter curve. That's a good shot. Real good, Real good shot. Leaves the shooter out in front covering the edge of the button. Some usable rocks. Cut down now. Epping is sitting one top edge. He can make the nose on that. He can? Yeah. He can sit three if he noses this red. I wonder if I try and do this. Or whisker this. Isn't it? Pretty good if you ever get to know what it is. I can't get. Uh, well, this doesn't. Even need, if you do this, doesn't he just rip it through? Okay. Well, I can't. Can I there? can't play with. I got to play with hack, right? Because of the that. The, I don't think it's curling crazy. But. You don't think you can get? Well, that? I don't. I don't think you want to go more that way. The more we go that way, the better for him. No, yeah, you almost want to hit right on the. Yeah, nose. like you don't. Right yeah. here. Yeah. Agreed. I think that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I think hack's this, the call. I think hack's the call. Sure. I think hack's good. That should be good with hack. I think if it gets to the line, it'll finish across. Okay. Okay, you okay with that? Yeah. You okay with you good with that ice? Okay. 
John's going to come down here with uh, soft weight. Try to yes, nose yes, this, because if he, if he doesn't way. nose it, Vic, and he kind of rolls over this way, uh, it'll give a bit of a pocket for John or for uh, Pat to run it into that uh, yellow, yellow situation. So dead on if he can. Is that a... You, you think it'll curl that much once they get by you through that that hole? Well, you can certainly get there with draw weight, but he has to throw, you know, he wants to move that red at least to the back of the uh, eight foot, 12 foot. So you're right, it's going to be tricky. I think the center line, this is the turn we've seen it go once it gets to the line, they just have to get there. These are the toughest shots speed wise. Mm -hmm. John just under throws us the hair, it's all over the guard. Wait's good, just through, John back line. Me. Oh, is first whoa. Whoa, no. whoa. Me? Whoa. trying to get something back after giving up yeah. that steal yeah. of two in the fourth yeah. by one one more no get by get over to the nose get right up to the nose and almost Great did shot, John. Oh, and pushes shot. it to the back edge and out sitting the two throw perfectly oh, nice throw yeah what a great throw Nose are red. That's actually the best result. As long as that doesn't lead in the triple. Carter. If he knows the red. <laughs> it won't leave him. I don't think it'll leave him triple. Uh, okay. right, no, it shouldn't. No, no, it shouldn't. No. No, he's, he's red is tricky control. too because he's got that guard in the way. Good, eh? To be soft like John just threw. Just try to get to as much nose as we can. Yeah. This should be gradual too, John. Okay. Yeah, I agree. All these shots, you know, the, the top players make it look so easy. Through, John? But, we want to uh, be right the, on the nose. All these shots take on so much risk. Let's just, say Pat ticks the guard here. Yeah, he might have a, it's a free draw for three. A whack for two. No, it's too high. This okay. one's too high. Would you ever think coming the other way? Just board. Um, and hitting the yellow one? No, no, hitting the red one, the same one you want to hit, but just come with the other turn. Yeah, it's over buried that way. This okay. is, it's more exposed than this side, Vic. All right. S assuming there's equal amounts of curl, this is a way better way to go. Okay. And, the, and that guard's fairly long. Yeah, yeah. Pat Simmons, his last. Yep. Right yep. now, it's Epping sitting two. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Yep! Yeah. Yeah. get by that long guard first. Yeah! Here they go! Oh, oh, no. they did get to the nose. Push it back! Oh, that went through the guard. Oh. <laughs> and they are sitting shot rock. If you could see more of that red one, then it's a I thought he rocked oh. on this one. Who else? Dude! You think about that, you know, that ticks, it's, they've already got two. Nothing drawn for three. Great shot. Yeah, I promise I might take one of my own with me, but find out here. Yeah, just. Boy, oh boy, he's trying to hair the guard and make that double to get rid of the Pat Simmons shot rock. But if he hits it thin, he takes his own out. Could Final stone sitting whoa. one. Simmons, whoa. after stealing whoa. two whoa. in the whoa. fourth, whoa. having trying to get something back. Oh, get it by the guard. They're by. Angle it back, and he's going to kill his own. Yeah. And it's going to be a two. steal of yep. one and a steal of two more. Simmons, back to back steals of a pair. It's coming apart for Epping. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Well, it's been a dramatic turnaround for Pat Simmons against uh, John Epping after giving up that four to Epping in the second. Yep. Simmons got one in the third. They stole two and four. And then in five, this great shot by Simmons setting up the miss as they wrapped it around that guard. And then, of course, they got the uh, miss from 
Simmons and they are missed from Epping. They picked up two more. The key shot brought to you by Cashmere Basket Tissue. Nothing feels like Cashmere. So isn't that a turnaround? From a four spot and down by three. Now they're up by two. Pat Simmons is with Brian. Pat, you sure make some exciting TV. I don't know if you like to make it that dramatic. Certainly an up and down first five. Take us through your final shot in five to set up that steal. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to nose, and uh, you know, I think it, it actually got across the nose, which uh, which left him a bit of a, a bit of a chance there at the triple. And uh, yeah, fortunate, obviously, he doesn't miss many of those. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Who knows what's going to happen next? You're a veteran team, but what was the mindset after you gave up that four early? Hang tough. Uh, long the ten end games are long, and uh, you know you can chip away, obviously. And uh, so it was just hang tough, and uh, you know stay in the game. How surprised were you and your team when you got that steal of two? Oh, of course, very surprised. Yeah, yeah, we were happy to force, and uh, you know that was obviously a bonus. And uh, like I say, you don't get breaks like that very often, so we're, we'll certainly try and capitalize on that. Good luck the rest of five. Make it entertaining, okay? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no doubt that when you look at four stolen points, that will tell you about anything you need to know. But then Epping with his hit percentage, unable to hold the shooter at the crucial moment, that's another telling statistic. The numbers after five are brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner of Curling Canada for over 20 years. Trying to regroup now, trying to figure out a way to come back, John Epping. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Purex Bathroom Tissue, Purex, 90 years of pure comfort and by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Just the buzz in the building when Pat was going down the other end was just electric. Crowd settles down. He went through the same pre-shot ritual he always does. And he wasn't affected by any of this white noise. Bite the white. As soon as he let it go and the sweepers didn't either jump on it or were right off it, I knew we had a really good chance of making the shot. I didn't say too much, you know, I, the guys wanted feedback on the line and I told them the line was good, you know, when the rock was, you know, a third of the way down. Draw for the win! I felt real good and then I just sort of got the confirmation from Nolan. I re recall just kind of staying kind of crouched down and, and hoping to see them kind of on and off it. At about top 12, I knew we had it made. I knew it had the momentum. I just had to kind of keep sweeping it. They need the button to be the Briar Champions! <laughs> Still talking about it. All these months later, of course, they were only Team Canada at the Tim Hortons Briar to be played in Ottawa in March. So we welcome you back. Second half just underway. Turn around dramatic. With back-to-back -back steals of two in four and five. And now Simmons up 6-4 on John Epping. And Epping will have the last rock. He'll have the hammer playing the Yellowstones here in six. Uh, what a risky shot that uh, John uh, threw up there. He, he, it was probably his best way to score a single, but it was also the best way to do what he did, which was to steal a two. And it's kind of an unwritten rule. You let, let a guy steal, you know, when you're tied like that, he steals one, you kind of still got control. You got hammer, you get your two, you're back in this thing. But uh, that's, scary, that's scary to give up two. But you said, Cheryl, about Epping and the, the number of steals he'd given up. Well, yeah, and these are their numbers coming into the season, and neither team would be happy with them. But you've got to look at the steals allowed. 24%, 25%, and that's cost Epping the lead in this game. This is just the uh, second time. These two teams have met each other on the uh, tour this year. They, they played uh, against each other in the quarterfinal of the event in, in Oshawa. Uh, because, again, of uh, the Simmons team late start only in October, so they haven't been around very much. And uh, Epping won that quarterfinal in Oshawa 6-3. Just clean. Well, that's, that's why I think those numbers are so close and neither team, again, would be happy with them. And it's for two different reasons. It's because it's Epping's first year together. And on the other side, mm -hmm. it's Simmons just started, really. So their numbers will improve and so will Epping's over time. Nolan. Nolan. Yep. Whoa!
Be there, anybody. So you look at the difference in the games here, Epping 51 games, Simmons 20 games to date. So that is the difference in the numbers. They both are, are scoring well, 50% win percentage, but it is those steals that they have to manage. It's interesting that how close they are, in fact. You know, at 50%, 49% in win percentage, percentage, and their steals are almost equal. So cut down on the steals and your likely win percentage goes up. You're starting to win. Just clean. Well, in, in just comparison just to Gushu coming into this event, they were allowing 9% steals, so it's it's a big difference. And of course, Gushu and his team are number one on the uh, tour this year at $110,000 won. Yeah. Overthrow it, Did you have a good break, like Kathy? I did. Oh, good. You're back up. Here we go. Mike McEwen, Kevin Cooey as they play in the sixth and Cooey's last. Well, I'm not sure if he's being talked into this shot. Mike McEwen buried on his final stone. Kevin went out to put the broom out in the 12 foot to play the draw to the four foot. But Mark just kept looking at that buried stone, feeling that if they can get to it and tap it back, it's for two. The question is, will it finish enough? They blanked the uh, fifth. So it's a 3-2 lead as we play here at six. Go, 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 Just not enough. Oh. One it is, the tie. for John here now. It's an uphill battle here. John whispering no point hanging around. It's absolutely true. Again, one of those times, what would your team like? They know Epping wants rocks in play. Well, get ready for an epic new series that Entertainment Weekly calls Carter. Game of Thrones in Space. Carter. The Expanse two-night series premiere event, December 14th and 15th only on Space. Two choices of her pad, hit and roll over a soft weight or the peel. Brad Gushu, Steve Laycock. As uh, Gushu remembered, he got the steal of two and five. Laycock now final stone six. Well, on a chance to draw closer, Brad had two chances at doubles. Second one, a run back, got one both times and left one Laycock stone in the house. So half a rock in the eight foot will give him two. 14-3. Good job, boys. Really nice. Well done, boys. No? To get within a couple, Guju will have last rock in seven, up by two, five, three. A little quiet. Clean. And John deciding not to freeze this time. He could have, with a, you know, trying to get that two back. But if you ever chap off yeah, Pat Simmons good. sits two now you can't blank so he's thinking blank all day now <laughs> right out, right out, right out. <laughs> and sometimes hey, I think after a, you know two steals back Not to back watch. maybe an open end give everybody a little bit of breather it, it's and it hasn't been the team the team's been playing great right in front of yeah. John he's got to give you less ice, less ice. I felt good. just John himself having <laughs> some issues <laughs> That's what cost him last time, isn't it? They, they tried to get it all back after the big steal of two. He tried to get it all back and another steal of two. They're such a good team, like they're 86% here and giving up six points. It's an interesting situation. Easy. 
I looked at the stats uh, earlier good, today. Um, there isn't anybody on Epping's team higher Sorry, than sixth I... out of eight teams, so that's not very good. But they're two and two, so they're, they're, what, what it is, what that speaks to me is that they play so many high degree of difficulty shots. It's tough to have a high percentage. Sherry Madaw blanks six. Oh, she's still down to uh, Christy McDonald. Four three as they play in the eighth. Madaw at uh, two and two. McDonald eliminated with her four losses. Yep. Queen, 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 queen. Come on, Johnny. John Epic. Oh, go and try and get it back next day. Not quite like the real thing, although, wow. <laughs> that was a great out turn. Ah, see, center line's always straight. TSN Shop is a one stop destination for officially licensed professional sports gear and curling merchandise. Visit tsnshop.ca to start shopping today. I'm not sure if you can get that game, but you'll get up. lots of other great stuff. TSNshop.ca. Nice. Yeah. From Revolution Place. Mine's good. Day three of our coverage. Home part of our Canada Cup. And on a Friday oh, afternoon, oh, it's oh, Pat oh, Simmons oh, with a two-point oh, lead oh, over John Epping. After the blank in six. Oh, Epping once again with Last Rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellow Stones here in seven. Come on, hard, John. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right. That's a di that's a different. Where you come around then? Yeah. Right, the first one yeah, we, we pounded right. it early and we kept it way out in the good stuff. That one I'm tight early because I'm trying to overcurl it a little. And that way was there out of my hand, eh? Yeah. Us, Interesting uh, comment yeah. there, isn't it? So it's obviously flattening out in the middle, just a touch. The um, first one for Nolan is the last spot. He wanted to put it back eight foot, back 12. Back That's off. advantage Almost Epping. Through, John. The second one didn't glide, so we'll have to keep an eye on that because that should deteriorate as the game goes along. Getting better. We haven't Doesn't noticed have that curl. this week. No, and it, you know, it can curl. be from where, from the sweeping See, and the player sliding over the path. It just flattens out quicker than the other parts of the sheet, but it's hey, been holding good. up good really well. Spot, Maybe guys. more people in the building, a little warmer. No, no! Please! You see Nolan uh, Thiessen there. Now, not much brushing had to be done, but he had the hairbrush. And I was just doing a quick scan, uh, primarily of the men's games. And in fact, even on the, uh, the women's game with uh, Christy McDonald and Sherry Madaw, we're seeing a lot more hairbrushes today, it seems to me. Am I right? There are a lot more. And the issue with that, or the interesting thing, is that they don't make hair brooms anymore. So, <laughs> And they're coming back into being very popular. So somebody better get ah, on it and start tight. making hairbrushes again. Yeah. Halfway tight, John. I think they're finding if you're, you know, throwing a draw and you're not too worried about line, it'll polish and uh, it'll allow it to do what it's supposed to do is get the rock to go a little bit farther, whereas the, a lot of the synthetic are a little bit more abrasive and they can actually make the rock go a little left and right. Uh, and you can put a lot more pressure on hair brims than you can on synthetics. You can really lean on them, which is what they used to do years ago with them. And I think that's to an advantage a lot of times. No! Good. I saw Nolan earlier today. I hadn't seen him in a couple of days. He just wasn't part of our shows, and I, oh, I went up and I took that shoulder of his and I was rubbing it. Went, you sure you don't want to start pitching again? I can get you 30 million a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I said, I could just, I'll only take 2%. <laughs> really tight. A little more room. He was, he was a little a more weight. Part of Baseball Canada for many years. How uh, much, uh, uh, much more weight? He's going to curl. It's really curling. Great it's really athlete. Curling. Sure, a sports center today will have the uh, introduction of David Price, 
by the uh, Boston Red Sox. Come on, guys. It's crazy the money they're throwing around. Unbelievable. It's all about what the market bears. So. You work once every five days if you're a pitcher. It's a pretty good gig, too. Don't let the freeze at all, eh? John Morris. Yee. Catch something. Oh. <laughs> Was out of time. It's the only thing you ever notice with John. He's fast. He sits yeah, down in the hack, and sometimes I think when the shots are, he wants to throw it so bad he doesn't take time to kind of set up. <laughs> yeah, both for he and uh, Wayne Mada from uh, Southern Ontario, and uh, I, I often used to say if they ever Back curl one. together, it'd be a 45-minute game. <laughs> Fast in the hat. Back 12. Oh, oh, oh. oh then. Yeah, it's it's, uh, the good. CFL shot good. talk versus the NFL. Yeah, it, really is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Line only, John. Reach good. Reach real good. Whoa. Right on it. All right, yep. let's go here. Yep. Go. Yep. Whoa. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Whoa. Whoa. Well, There's something to it, though, Vic, with that uh, playing fast. So you can obviously criticize for, you know, rushing and not thinking, but you can also overthink. And you said it the other day about it, your first instincts, your first thought process. Go with it. And I don't think uh, Wayne Madar or John Morris uh, have time to think of the second option. And I said some very good things earlier this week. <laughs> yeah, but it's you were 90%. It's dropped we're, off. We're keeping track. <laughs> Light hack, probably. Oh, I like it. Clean. Yeah, clean it. Wait, it's good. Whoa, whoa. Big, whoa, big, whoa. big. Whoa. John Morris. Yes. Whoa, Me? whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Good. And all the way down good to good it. Job. Yeah, boy. Nice shot. It's right there on the nose. I have to tell you a quick story good because good, 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 good. we, is our habit throughout the season, the we always get some junior nice curlers shot. to come and visit. And yesterday, uh, this young man comes in with the person escorting. They said, the, the young man said, to, oh, well, let's go quickly update here. Brad Jacobs and Carruthers. Uh, well, I'll tell you the story. I have a, Kathy, you're up. Sorry. So <laughs> save it, save it, Kathy. Story ever. <laughs> I've heard the story. I know you have, and it doesn't involve you. For Brad Jacobs, he made a really nice shot in his first one. Went around those stones. Reed Crothers took a lot of time looking at it. Wound up making a very nice shot. Picked the stone directly sideways to leave his three in here. And so there is only one point available, and that is by getting to the forefoot. And Vic's story ends with everyone loves Cheryl. That's fine. Honest to goodness, you're not far off. I know, I'm just hey, trying to help you. Thanks very much. So this this young man looks at Cheryl and says, my mother loves you. And I said to the young man, but what about Russ and me? She, no, no, they, she just loves Cheryl. <laughs> Just, and then he was all happy, and they they posed. But we can it was quite funny because he so posed for pictures with Cheryl, and he just ignored Russ, <laughs> gold medal winner, Order of Canada, pin on his lapel, nothing, 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 <laughs> just Cheryl. That was all. Well, he's a young man. It's <laughs> Cheryl. No, but it wasn't even him. It was his mother. His mother, yeah. <laughs> quite funny. Uh, Russ tried to get in there. He's like, but I work with Cheryl. <laughs> I tried to photobomb it. I tried everything. But... Did you go like a board weight double to sit three? Oh, no, those are locked. No, oh, this ain't going locked. anywhere. Okay. Straight back, Cheryl, or are they? Kick it. Yep, look like it. want to copy a curling release it's uh, Pat Simmons in my opinion I love the grip it's a natural grip just the way you pick up a hammer pick up a handle or a, and he just he just lets it go clean there's no playing with it so the wrist action just a slight twist as he lets it go not a lot of extension yep, speed yep. comes from the hips yep, yep. Ah! Ah, no. good try. And drives it by I wonder if some of it Comes from the fact that he's a, uh, a chiropractor by trade. In fact, he's probably knows no, once, once the kinetics involved mm -hmm. in, in, in 
throwing it properly. Very well could be. All right. Sorry, Kathy. We'll get away. It's 3-3 three, three, McEwen and Cooey and shot stone okay. Cooey. It so. is. Most of this end has been just two stones in the house, both belonging to Cooey. This is trying to get enough of that stone to remove it to keep that red stone in the forefoot as the second point. His shooter would be the first. And there's nothing out in front. There is not. Whoa, guys, whoa. Yep. Did you see yep. the glint from whoa. that uh, steel whoa. slider he uses? Yeah. Yep. But, uh, he comes out of there like a rocket. D! D! You got the yellow Hard. one. Can they save Hard. the shooter? Hard! And this now has to sit a little bit. Uh, oh, it'll right. just go too far. This didn't even move. So one it is. Is that a curl? Or Rocks or? just stick to the ice, eh? Heads up, yeah. Just, sorry. Like, because it could rub ours and still go. Right on the nose. Play the freeze down there. Yeah, That's the other thing besides yeah. how well Pat throws is the one thing you notice over and over again is he has the identical pre-shot routine. Mm -hmm. It's always the same. And that's so important to kind of reproduce that throw every time. But that's... The hair on the inside. We quite often say it's not unlike golf. It's not unlike a pitcher. Uh, same idea. Every curler really goes through it. We see it with well, Jennifer Jones is one we watch so often. Same routine all the time. You have to have it to reproduce that throw every time. Colleen Jones mm -hmm. always stepped behind the bumper, <laughs> remember, and then came up, put the foot in, and Gotta go. went. Mine's good. Gotta go weak. Go ahead. Same light this time. Are you sure? Line's good. Bro. Freeze that! Room! Good! Room! 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 Nolan Carter worried about this curling into the yeah. slow stuff. Whoa, and now they'll try whoa, to pick whoa, it up and whoa, carry whoa, it a little whoa, farther. Whoa, Thiessen, whoa. right Croft. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, corner. Sorry, Pat. Oh, it's not bad. They wanted a little more curl to get to the nose, did they? It's not bad, boys. Yeah, exactly. They did. I think you're right, yeah, Russ, though. They're right trying right to sweep because they knew it was going to yeah, get to the slow stuff. Were, That's yeah. so hard on the sweepers. Yeah. I don't think this is going to move very far. Okay, okay, no more though. Eh? Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah, you can go like a I foot think, or two last if you want it, Jody. Should come a little more across yeah. the line, right? That should be close. Okay. Yeah, Most of hair uh, low done. Fractions of an inch all the time on these sweeping calls. Just a little less weight. Okay. Just a little less weight. Yeah. That's a perfect line. Perfect line is. No, but but even so, like he smashes and that yellow one stays right there. <laughs> I think it's. Did you check and see if, because of the angle, when he he's hits only this, yeah, like he can't gonna, afford to, what? He's going to drag it back. Get, get, get ready is all I'm saying. Oh. Like he just might Bugs spill in. off. That's all it. More. John should be ready. Oh, it's delicate. It's very delicate. Oh. To save the shooter here is tricky. Well, similar situation to what we just saw with uh, McEwen, trying to hold that shooter after chipping the stone off the face. Can he hold the shooter? Now, yeah, there he did. Very nice. That'll be for two. And get him right back. So we're all even again. It's two right, two yellow. John Epic. We didn't. Pat didn't. Simmons tied at six. Do you guys nervous you playing Pat Simmons today? No. No? I'm not. <laughs> no. But we've been, yeah. Because when you play a long time and you get experience, you, you feel less nervous. Yeah. You think of it as you're playing against shots, you're not playing against the person. Yeah. That's a good way to think about it. It's a great way to think about it. I fired one to the top of the eighth, but trying to go to the button. I threw probably board weight. <laughs> and I threw more than what the guys want. They're like, it's heavy. It's heavy. But they're still sweeping it because they know it's like, it's going to be like, like. It's got to be heavy. Yeah, it's got to be. I know it's light, but it's got to be heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had a bit of a brain fart there. I thought you were just going to. Okay, I was. I, I was with you, that's okay. I thought you were just going to do it. It's nice, the, uh, those are some of the juniors that do come to visit us here in the booth. It's nice that they, the players do spend some time with them here at the Canada Cup and at all the uh, Season of Champions events. Welcome back to Grand Prairie. Sean Epping picks up his deuce at seven. And so here in the eighth, it will be Pat Simmons that once again has the last rock. He has the hammer playing the 
Brent Stones in a 6-6 time. A little bit, yep. Yes! Hard line! Come on. Hard. Move! I really like the weight choice that Epping go, 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 showed on that last stone. Yes. You know, he needed to stick around. He got caught a couple times rolling out and with the bigger weight, so great weight selection. Well, the front end will say to you, give it to me, give it to <laughs> us, right? And uh, he did. That's the toughest shot in the sport now, Cheryl. You know, beautiful come around by Nolan. The line was good. They could have locked that on it. Three inches heavy. Kicks open. And now the key to this whole situation when you're racing to the middle, get to the inside. And now there's more room to get to the inside because Nolan's kicked open. Just overbrushed a hair. Top, I heavy. Top yeah, eight, yeah. weight's good. Top yes. four. Whoa, Top four. it's heavy, Timmy, whoa. Pat Jensen. Top eight. Big Line's first. good. good. Line's we're good. good. Like to see a curl. We're good, we're good. Like Are to you? see a curl. Tim, Tim, go, go, go Tim, go. Go, Tim, go. Tim, go. Oh. Come on, go, 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 go. Curl, <laughs> sure, bud. It's good. You ready? Pat's made some great freezes this game. He's had great weight, playing 84%. This whole team is improving uh, immensely with the finesse stuff. They're always great hitters, good technical throws. Just there. Right really now. hard! Carter Rycroft. Uh, yeah, Carter yeah, looked yeah. like his body was stuck yeah. to the center line there. He didn't quite get out. Keep going! Keep so Morris going. and Thiessen have hard. picked him up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And all over that center. Okay. Yeah, he won't be happy about that. Was just really, he just didn't get his body out, give himself a chance to hit the broom. You got this. It's not the worst. Error, you know, pro side error to open it up a little bit. And Pat, for sure, this end wants to score, so might give them a chance to play at something in the forefoot. Mm -hmm. Halfway, halfway high. I, I thought more than that. Little bit Just early. Just halfway. Whoa, got a curl. Halfway's good. It's got to move. Got to curl. Drawn. It's got to move. Yep, Tim, go. go I think he wanted that a little deeper, Patty. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> you're, you're two feet deeper. That's perfect line. Yeah. Here. Is he right? Yes. That's just too long. Yeah, it, it's it optically is perfect, but uh, you know with this big finish, he is absolutely right. Just a little bit deeper, and then John doesn't, or in this case Carter, doesn't have quite enough time or space to get that curl. Little That's bit, pretty long guard. Yep. You're a little late. Yep. Gotta go. Come Gotta on, go. Home. Come on, hard. Buddy. Real hard. All the way, hard. Hard Wrap it around. Boy, he still flirted gotta with go it. Gotta go for weight. And we'll just bump it up. Covered it now. Sitting on the lid. Shot stone belongs to Simmons. Good sweep. My God. <laughs> Pretty claustrophobic for uh, Pat Simmons here. Make this good, boys. Speed's good here, you think? It's uh, foot sore. Foot sore? Spin in this spot. Let's come around here and really choke off a lot of options. There won't be an intern option if this drops light of the T-line for Pat Simmons' team. And there, there's still that easy raise for John Epping later. Yep. Top four. Top four. Whoa. Yes, you got to go. 
problem for Pat is you try okay. to move some rocks okay. and open it up. Make you're, sure you're there. most you're likely okay. going to get rid of your shot stone. Hard, line's Pickleton. good. Come on, Pickleton. Line's great. You got to go. Line's great. Hard, Timmy. Come on, lean on it. Oh. Come on, Timmy. Lean go, on it, Timmy. Go. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Four feet. Three feet slow, maybe four. four. Well, that's been uh, need a bit of oxygen here now. That's two in a row. Tim's gone from coast to coast. Mine's great. You gotta go. Mine's great. Hard, Timmy. Come on, lean on it. Come on, Timmy. Lean on it, Timmy. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Four feet. Three feet slow, maybe four. Okay. What are you doing, John? Try this. Run it and roll the shooter out. Okay. In turn. In turn. In turn low. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Yep. Yep. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, can't be one. Shooter! Shooter! Run it back. Yeah, and it'll leave the shooter right now covering the center line. Still shot Stone. Simmons. Were they just trying to open up the uh, intern draw, I guess? Yeah, Cheryl? they were trying to open it up and roll the, their shooter away, but it didn't work out. Yeah, it curls a little more. Everything opens up. That's true. Slow side, it opens all of it. <coughs> There's nothing on the outturn side. Epping is a luxury now, just choking this off, top eight, get it maybe an inch buried, and then you could use it if uh, Simmons doesn't guard it. Really nice chance to either steal or force. I'll leave that one for Johnny. I'll set him up with this one here. So we want to be just top four then? Yeah. yeah. What do you, you think I can get away with same weight, guys? Is it just, I, I'd throw a foot or two. I'd have a couple more feet more. more. We, we went pretty hard on that. Okay. Looks like the same to me. It's all really close. Wait, only. Wait, it's close. Nice rotation out here. I find uh, in yeah. the arena conditions, this can grab wait, a little bit. It's wait fresher. Well, then. Keep well, it spinning. Then. It'll oh, glide whoa. a little bit farther. Whoa. 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 It's sliding. It's sliding. Whoa. It's sliding. Whoa. 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 Oh, sorry, Manny. Good throw. Okay. It's my fault. Oh. Just a foot too deep. Control, bud. A little higher, and they could use it. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Got just a quarter. No. Just a quarter. Maybe hair less. Speed's good here, boys. Yeah. Third rock in a row here. So. Yeah. Speed's good. We have to, I think. This line. It's good. Wait, let's close. Mine's good. Mine's a hair tight. Oh, no, Just for one. Heavy right now. Oh, whoa. No. Never. Still heavy. No line. Back four. Want to go past it, or what do you want to no, do? Yeah. Don't go yeah, yeah, the yeah, double. Yellow yeah. could end up shot. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. <sighs> when did that get lightning? Oh, Last. I haven't had it. Not a good shot there. John was fooled with the, his guess on the actual speed. Timeout being called by John Epping. In a 4 4 tie, Jacobs, Carruthers, and Final Stone coming up. For the skip, Reed Crothers out of West St. Paul. Now, Reed is shot on the button, and it was a red stone right in front of it, just shown by Brad Jacobs. So, for Reed, trying to get the angles on two stones in front of it to remove the red stone to bring multiple points into play. Go there. Go there. Really got to go. Close. Come on, come on, come on. Very nice. Such great touch. Good job, buddy. 
for the deuce. Two yellow, yeah. At uh, one and four, trying to keep himself I guess if I miss it, alive I the on the, the women's one. side. Four losses have already here? been eliminated. No. Either or doesn't matter. Do you like an RV or? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The, okay. So what do you want for Thanks, Coach. That's not sticking out. Could also try and paper that, like just. Paper, paper that. I don't. Uh, then he, if we don't get it. We get some right. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I know. I just the safest call. Can we throw like a something that we can use here later or no? Like There's right no here. Shot for two. So it leaves us two shots in at it. Right there. It's guarded. I think this. And if we have something on the next one, we'll... I'm not going. He's going to guard the ball. I'd be afraid yeah, of playing a run too early. Right. You know, open it up and let right. Simmons an opportunity for a deuce. And that shot I drew up there is not a really good angle either. It's 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 possible, but it's really tricky. And you could really really open it up. They did discuss it for a while, but they've changed uh, changed plans here. You could guard Pat's way, like his only way into the forefoot is that intern. Yeah. So just guard that. Yeah. Yeah. A little more. So what do you think we've? What do you think we are here? What am I throwing first? Uh, uh, double. No. Wow. I mean, I'll why, why not? I'll leave it. Well, because if he hits what he sees, he makes it. No, yeah, but there's. If he hits what he sees, he makes it. Top eight. Room. Top four. Oh, Lot really? of room. Skip stones. Where? John Epping, Top his four. first. This, uh, wide pass. this oh, is right. not down. light. Take guard, take guard. Line's great. Take guard, take guard. You're ready. Take guard, line's great. Yep. Yep, Pat. Hard, Pat, go. Hard, Pat, go hard. Well, they called top four for yep, a yep, second, yep, but yep, it's yep, 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 yep. not keep that deep at all. Keep going, Pat, keep going, Pat. Keep going, keep going. That's good. That's good. Good. Shot. So. Mike McEwen with that one point lead 4 3. Final stone, Kevin Cooey as they play an eight. And there have been lots of rocks in play, some great hit and rolls by Mark Kennedy, but just no way to manufacture a deuce. And so it is Hold two that Kevin Cooey faces on his final. Yeah, they're around the edge. One is back edge of the eight, one is around at the uh, three o'clock position, just on the uh, edge well, of the 12. Look, so good You're piece of the good. eight foot will give him a single. The tie. Cooey again with a win will clinch nice a playoff job. spot. Really nice. Good sweep, guys. To the T line. And a single. Shit, unlucky am I not to bump that out. The worrisome rock here is this yellow one that uh, Pat's going to go after be because he can run it in that way and make that same shot, and that would be a disaster for uh, Team Simmons. So they're going to make it roll. make it go away, roll yeah, over a little bit. Stick, right? yeah. Wow! 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 Whoa! 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 Well, a reminder that the BMO Raptors basketball on TSN continues tomorrow. It'll be the Warriors taking on the Raptors. And Golden State still undefeated. 20 straight wins. And the Warriors won about three weeks ago in Golden State, 115-110. Catch it at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 Pacific on TSN 2. Line safe. Halfway. Easy right now. John's happy with uh, conceding the single here. Yes! And I think Pat Simmons would be happy to take it. <laughs> They're both agreeing. Tight, yep, yep. Doesn't happen often. Halfway tight. Yep, Pat. Yep. Real hard, Pat. Really hard. Tight. Hard, Pat. Keep going. Really tight. Keep going. Hard. Yeah, keep going. Keep, keep going. going on it. Keep going. Go, on go, it. go, keep go, going. go, keep go, going. go. Keep going. Keep it. Good sweep. Spot. Good sweep. Back up with Hack. 
Is there any, is there a hole there us. to get that uh, Can't hurt us. Have a look. stone on the edge, the yellow stone or not? I, I think you can get through it's the port. That... And you can definitely hit the yellow, but can you hang around? Okay. Yeah. What if I edge off this, John? Yeah. Wouldn't be happy with that. I think this is there? I don't really yeah, see it's a short way. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If I edge off that or if I... Just throw it away, Pat. think so, yeah. Discretion, the better part of Valor yeah, there. It, the odds of ticking it and going yellow, yellow, taking the red out are very slim, but you lose the game if you do something crazy like that. Yeah, Give up. Throw it away, they do. If I edge off that outside, it's death, right? I don't know if you could have. So gone. Simmons will pick up the single. Even if you just absolutely whisper. Rock the on the button. Stayed there a long time. Simmons has the lead. Let's quickly update the game between uh, Brad Gujo and Steve Laycock. And a uh, chance for a big end here for Gujo. Well, it is, but a great shot by Steve Laycock to tap up his stone and leave, leaves Brad Gujo one shot at the end off his own. Coming in with that record of one and three, Laycock two and three. Angle it back. Oh, wow, the in off works perfectly. One, two, three, and four. And there the hands come out, hands out no. and Steve Laycock will concede the final nine to three. Gushu is now two and three, Laycock two and four. It's our first final on this Friday afternoon from Revolution Place here in Grand Prairie. Pat Simmons gets one in the eighth to take the lead seven six. Now it will be John Epping that has last rock. He has hammer. So how does running Playing the yellow stones here and not. Yeah. Won't do anything great. Control. Well played end by Epping. He'd love to have stolen the all important eighth end, but uh, forcing uh, Simmons to the single was a bit of a yeah. job well done, really. Yeah. They, they, they made a lot of good shots to choke off that scoring area. Really hard. Come on, Pat. Well, they didn't get a good come around on their first one this end, so I think the blank might be. They may be looking for a blank this end, which wouldn't be bad for upping. Sherry Madaw has closed the gap, picks up the single in eight against Christy McDonald, but still down by one. McDonald with the last rock in nine. I like it, but it's a. How's line? It's in the good stuff. Line's good. It's a little light. Line's good. Go ahead. Go on. Slide good. Go on, Nolan. Go now. Come on, Nolan. Really hard. Come on, Nolan. As far as it goes, go, go, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, go, go, Hard, hard, go, hard, hard. It's going. It's going. Dead Barry. Nice shot. Good sweep. Boy, Fabulous man. communication there. You heard John. As soon as that rock was Carter, let that go. John said, "I like it, but it's a little light." A little farther down, uh, I think it was Nolan said it's a little light, but Carter said it's out in the good stuff. Because it was out in the good stuff, meaning a little bit faster path, the boys were able to drag it right where they wanted it. Yep. Pat Jansen. And they stuff it. So it leaves the uh, Simmons stone just top edge of the four, half covered. Try. Yeah, guard him, let yeah. him. Halfway, guard, halfway. Siri, here you guard it up. If Epping makes the double peel to clean everything out of there, you can draw for That's two good. if you're Pat it's Simmons like and good. try to force. Wait for it, wait for it. Halfway. Room. Got a curl. Room. Got a curl. Got a curl. Clean. My favorite clean, situation clean, when it's whoa, the ninth clean. end uh, with the score the way it is, where clean. the team, uh, whoa, the whoa, team that's whoa, down, uh, it's whoa, gonna be whoa, how much risk do you take? Nice. It's a good natural jam angle, you know. The team that's up, how much yeah, risk do you take? I just want to open it up for the little. Boy, oh, Carter, nice shooting. Just saw it, Pat. You got to make it. Let's go. Didn't quite guard enough of that, and uh, they're going to give the yellow, yellow run back a try. Pat Jansen gets another chance. Uh, whoa. 
Couldn't Just sneak it by. So no. crashes on the high one. Straight tight out of his hand. Yep. Sure. Massive weight. You know, you know the, the guys are good at it. it. Takes the curl out of it, but it. Uh, why not give your brushers a try? You wanted to hang around there if you made that raise. This time, I think they'll try to guard a little more of that yellow one. Line. Wait till there. I think. Yeah. What do you got? A oh, little bit for line. Shoulder. Almost to the yellow. Okay, whoa. Can you get just by it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yep, yep. yep. Whoa. Easy, boys. It's pretty heavy. Uh, whoa. I don't know. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Have to guard a piece of this yellow. Good, uh, good okay. call. Okay. Oh, I tell you what. Give those guys credit. Uh, <laughs> Carter Rycroft holding Thiessen out of his hand. Right away, almost to the yellow, and look where it was. And then plan B was, if it's heavy enough, maybe we can stick it right there. wrap it around a bit. Yeah, it's fantastic communication, crazy. great judgment. You look at that guy right there, Carter Rycroft. He uh, Normal? walked two draws like to the button, one against my brother to win the Briar, and last year to beat Jacobs yes, right buddy. to the pin. And uh, they don't get too excited on those shots. It's, it's a lot of pressure on the front ends when you're making a draw to the button to win a game or a championship. No, he's the one always talking down the sheet, saying, just take a look, take a look. Little firm. Voice of yeah. reason. Hard. Whoa. 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 Oh, Whoa. no. Hard, Johnny. Okay. Hard, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Hard, Johnny. Right out, Johnny. Oh. Attaboy. Oh, Angle it back to get it off the... Uh, just overcooked it on your hair. I Sorry, bud. Yeah. Off yeah, the top of the four. Oh. But still the guard out in front for hey, hey, boys, Simmons so. without last rock hey, here in nine. If anything, this rock glides better. Okay. What do you got? Uh, I got all there right now. Right right out. Out. I think the weight's good. Right right the good stuff? Yeah. Don't want to. Don't want to at all. Line's fine, so whatever Line's you good, need. boys. Top Whoa. four. Just top Whoa. four. Clean. Top Line's four. Good. Doesn't Wait, need to curl. Doesn't need to curl. Whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. There. Whoa. Right sit, off. Sit, sit, good scrub. Good scrub. Whoa. Good. That is perfect. Picked up at the end a little. Good. Brad Jacobs down by a couple. And I see two yellows in there. So he's facing a couple of stones with his last, Kathy. Well, he is. He made a good draw on his first stone, but. Reed Carruthers able to flirt really tight to the guard on the right-hand side. That yellow guard made the double. And so it is two right now for Carruthers. Needs piece of the four. Stay with it. Hi, boy. Shut up, Brad. One red. One red it is. So Carruthers with four losses and really, I think, a must win for him. Has the lead and, of course, last draw. Just top eight, top four. Nice run back there. At least it, it, it nothing else. Control. It's a yellow guard they can raise in there now as opposed to your opponents. It makes it that much easier in the next one. Back. And it's not a center yeah. guard anymore either, which helps him a lot. Leaves the four foot for him. Pat could go back eight here. Uh, obviously, John would freeze, but then if Pat freezes, you could, you could try to force the situation that way. But I think they're going to go top four foot on this one. I'd Line's say good. Pretty close. Carry it a little bit early. Line's good. Go on. Go on. And Line's go. Line's good. Line's good. Carter, line's good. Line's good, Carter. Hard going. Hard, hard going. Hard. Again, hard the directional hard. brushing hard. and now trying to carry it. Morris Come out on, as hard. well. Hard. Hard, Nolan. Carve it in there, buddy. A little more. A little more. Hard. Get, Good brush. get it around. Probably brush, covering yeah, three quarters of it. What is it? Great sweep of Nolan. Uh, it feels Can like it's just button? like one of the small. So I'd say. I'd say. Run back. Right on the nose. Good nose, buddy. Blank in nine. Yeah. So it remains a 4-4 tie. And it's Mike McHugh in a 2-2. Two and two. Has the last rock coming home against four and one. Kevin Cooey. Huge shot here. John ever stuck it buried. He have a chance for his yep. two, but if he misses Whoa. this run back, Whoa. he won't be able to blank. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, 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 oh. Yes! One more yes! time. Run it back, and he's going to lose it. Leave the shooter out in front as we check in on a Madonna and Christy McDonald. McDonald with a chance here to play spoiler. Well, she's playing the double run double. No. She's had the lead for a Two. good part of the game. And wow, what a turnaround for Sherry Madaw. She'll pick up a steal of two to take the lead 6-5 over McDonald. As Sherry Madaw tries to keep pace with the likes of Holman, Sweeting, and Jones. Kind of doesn't matter where this is lengthwise. It has to be underneath. Key line. Whoa, whoa, Looks whoa. a little heavier. Whoa, whoa, guys. Top four. Off. Line's five. Nice. Off. Lots of weight. Yeah. Just make sure it's whoa, firing. Whoa. That's needs, needs the curl. Needs no. the curl. Needs the curl. Are you sure with this yes. extra weight? For sure. No. Easy, easy, easy. It's the curl. Whoa, whoa. Let, let whoa, it work. Whoa, whoa. Ready. Ready. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. Whoa. 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 And coming a little deeper this time. Back eight. Got Great call by slip, John. Slip they wanted to go a little bit to bury it, but he knew it had that extra yeah, legs and it was going to come out the other side. Tricky little blank here. I felt the exact same way when you let it go. Yeah, I thought, I thought that's it was a slow. little bit slower slide. Positive. Yes. T line. Yeah. I thought close to it. I think to me, the run looks easier. Uh, I, you can barely see a piece. Yeah. Run looks easier to me. It's two. Two, uh, bla back blank. Really? That's why deep was a good idea, because it makes this that much tougher. Yeah, I, I wasn't liking the hot blank. You got to explain. Worst part about this one is, you know, John's so good. I, I expect him to be close, but obviously he can miss it and go down too. But he can also nose it and be forced to a single, which is just as bad. So final stone, shot oh, rock no. belongs to Whoa. Pat Simmons, oh, back eight oh, foot. No, 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 no. Marsh Jansen, nothing. Run it back it and by. Wow. And so it will be a steal of one for Pat Simmons in the ninth. But it's really a uh, steal of four and four and five. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2015 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. By World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. And by Purex Bathroom Tissue, Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. On this uh, Friday afternoon, day three coverage the Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling from Grand Prairie and Revolution Place down to the uh, final end in many of the games. We already have one final. Brad Guju, a winner over Steve Laycock. John Epping elects to play the run back, looking for the blank, gives up the steal of one, so it's a, a two point lead now for Pat Simmons. But Epping does have the last rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellowstones here in 10. And uh, during the break, I said to you, I. I I understand why. I mean, but to my mind, you play even just a quiet come around draw. You get your single, you're tied, and now you try to steal it. Yeah, the risk wasn't worth that to just to blank the end. Going down two against a team like this, I mean, that's trouble. He was trying to make them both. And, they, and to Simmons, they, they put that spot in a rock in a great spot. There was enough separation that made that wasn't an easy mm. run back. You, you and I yeah, talked about it with a veteran move Johnny. to get it way back to that deep and make that run back that much harder. Well, Timothy uh, put his first corner guard, slipped just barely into the rings, yeah. allowing Might Simmons to hit it. And uh, it's it that much tougher to generate uh, a couple. Right where your broom is, John. Okay. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Well, really, you can just point it. 
three ends. The second, when John Epping made the shot to get four, and you thought, wow, okay. And then in four, he gave two back on a steal. And then in five, he gave up a steal of two more, and that really was the game. Momentum shifted by then. And it was, uh, at this point now, 8-6. The game story brought to you by Tim Horton's official coffee or of Curling Canada. But it goes back again to Cheryl, and you say that problem with Epping was stolen points. And really, both your keys were absolutely perfect. I'm not... Whoa. That's, that's, well, let me just think, rethink this. <laughs> careful, careful. Yeah, the fact that you said the stolen ends were his problem and also right. knowing when to bail because he failed to bail and then ended up giving up the steals. Exactly. And I mean, bailing was one thing and then unforced error was his other issue, you know, on the end that he, fourth end when he hit and rolled out, that's just a wide open unforced error. So it goes back to consistency with this team and when to bail. An exciting young team though that they're, they're that close aren't they you know we're talking about two or three major errors and they still took uh, the Canadian champs right to the last shot here and they can still tie this thing up all right but I'm gonna play devil's Wait. advocate here and I'm yeah. not picking on yeah. John Epping all I'm saying is that some of John, his decision making that should be fine. Boy, could be questioned and if you're going to take that next Boy, step get out of Ontario not just be on the fringe of Ontario, but get out. That decision making has to be better. Wouldn't oh, you agree? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't argue with that at all. They, it, it's just they're they're that close, even though they're making a couple of boo boos each time. So uh, same way. Um, same way. And, and, you know that's 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 curly, isn't it? You know, I don't think very many people are the uh, smartest skips in the row when they're 19 years old. Type thing. You know, John's been around a long time, but it's a young team, and it, it, it's it's difficult. You. Uh, he wins games because he's aggressive and he's losing games because he's aggressive. Yeah. Pretty high guard there. Well, and, you know, I think a lot of these teams in the summer go back and look at their games and what cost them losses. And then as a new team, maybe they all come to the same conclusion mm -hmm. and then remind each other next year when they're out there playing that, hey, we all said we were going to bail a little earlier or whatever the team decision is. Haven't you found Cheryl? I, I, it's <laughs> obviously it's easier up here, but when you're on the <laughs> ice, that's where you need a coach yeah. because you're you're on the ice. It's it's not, it's not quite as easy where the coach can sit back and say, "Look, did you think of trying this as opposed to this?" You know, that's that's it's it's all learning. You can't see the forest for the trees. Right. It's the <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's I'm much late. easier from coaching or looking from outside of it than it is when you're mm. right on the ice Don't playing. Oh, yeah. Didn't get the advantage of using that first corner guard, putting it in the free guard zone that it can't be removed and slipped in the rings. It's pretty simple mathematics for Pat Simmons here. Keep making yellow go away. Whoa! Whoa! No! Yep! Had a chance. Uh, Curtis had had a chance. They actually could have taken the one off the button. That is not actually helping them because that's the only last resort for uh, a possible two. Halfway. Should be good. Yeah. Half. Stepping in danger of uh, falling to uh, two oh, yeah, and three. Probably more tolerance with the back 12. Simmons looking to go to four and two. Pat Simmons. 
Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Boy, Pat. Shot. It's funny how it works, isn't it? You, you put the first one on the top of the button. It would have been nice to be a little higher, but it's on the button. Great shot to start the end. Now you're wishing you hadn't thrown it. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it through. From, so like three, four feet from the button was really fast. Top this about three inches. Uh, like yeah, it's, it's like 24 and a half, almost 20. Yeah. A little, yeah, a little yeah, bit quicker. Half now. Almost, right on. almost 24. This is where you got to be careful. It could be getting a wee bit straighter here. A couple games have ended. Easy. Yes. Air temperature gets a, a little colder. Room. Back eight, back four. Around? Mine's good. Oh, wait, it's close. It's close. It's close. Yeah, I might have to go around. Yep, yep, then. No, no, yep, no. around, close. yep, around. Tim. Really hanging. Timmy. <laughs> back 12. Yep. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Pat in now. Pat in. Pat. Pat. Oh, yep. you can. Yeah, you can. Yep, Pat. Yeah, yes. Pat. Yes. Go, go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you'll take it to the spot. Audible. Back 12. Yeah. Audible. Through mm. 55. Are you... 55? Yeah. That's a, a rocket. Where is it? If you're not uh, comfortable with your run back ability like a Pat uh, Simmons is, you could draw for two here. You could split the rings, get over the corner, force John to make a hero double just to tie the game. Obviously, this wins it, but if he ever misses it, it makes John's life a lot easier. So a chance to uh, run the mud of stones here and pick up the win, Simmons. Pat Simmons. Well, clean. Well, clean. 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 Wow. Well, clean. 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 Nice roll, Pat. Oh, and away they back. go. Wow. Good luck, Johnny. Good luck, Johnny. So Pat Simmons will pick up the win. To improve his record now to four and two. John Epping drops to two and three. Make the final. Eight six. Simmons a winner on this Friday afternoon at the Canada Cup. That one was. Lots going on as we're getting close to the end of this uh, Friday afternoon draw. Let's check in on uh, Jacobs and Carruthers. Carruthers leading 6-5, and he has the last rock in 10. Needs to stick around on a wide open hit. Facing two, he is. Carruthers coming in at one and four. Brad Jacobs at three and one. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And he'll roll off, and we've seen that today. So that will be the steal of one for Jacobs to force the extra tied at six. Now, quickly over to the women's game. Christy McDonald against Sherry Madaw. And Madaw, after that steal of two in nine, to lead 6-5, and that was just her final stone coming to rest. From where I sit, looks like she is sitting one, two, maybe even three. Well, she is, and there is some time issues for Christy McDonald. Her team has cleaned her rock, not taking a lot of time, making her way back to the hack. Needs to run that corner guard in. Madonna two and two. McDonald at one and four, already eliminated from the women's uh, portion of this event. All the four lost teams out of contention. Madonna looking to go to three and two, trying to keep pace with Rachel Holman, who's already Picked up a spot in the uh, okay. final. It's up to you. Five straight wins. Okay, well. Val Sweeting's at four I and stick one. It right? yep. Maybe uh, same. Jennifer well, Jones is at three and two. Right way, right? You could throw two feet less and you'll be good. Even three feet. Do you like and that? Madonna looking okay. to join Jones at that three and two mark. Yeah, it's a lot easier this shot here than that long angle. The, it's it's pretty well wide open. It's just you can't roll wide, so it's just soft weight required here. In turn tap. And we've seen some really good finish on these end sheets, so she should get enough curl to get to the inside. Only if you need it. Whoa. Whoa for line. Whoa, get off. No, no, get no. Off of it. It's not moving at all. Don't Leslie Wilson, Renora Westcott. On, on the brush, Kate Cameron. No. 
Managing the house. Needs one to tie. Tap it back if she can and won't get there. By that much, it's going to be one more for Madon. She'll win it. The final 7-5. And that's a big win for Sherry Madon. And she goes to three and two, and McDonald falls to one and five. Now the only other game on the ice is on sheet A on the other side, and it's those two stones, three in fact, that belong to Kevin Cooey, four and one. Final rock coming up for Mike McHugh and trying to go to three and two. And lots of timeouts. McEwen's team used both of theirs, bringing on John Mee to talk to them about wait where to wait. play stones. The Cooey team perfect. also took some time, placed it at the biting at the top of the four, so Mike needs full four, Vic. And it was the addition of John Mead this year by the team, trying to bring that experience, you know, of all those years with uh, with Jeff Stoughton as they prepare for another Manitoba playdown. Shot, Mike. And nice shot, Mike, indeed, to pick up the win. McEwen gets the single, and he'll win it. Final five to four. And so he goes three and two, and now Cooey falls to four and two so one game remains on the ice they've gone an extra end not the first time we saw that today those little hits and rolls trying to hold the shooter and it just didn't happen for reed carruthers and so carruthers and jacobs now going to an extra in a 6-6 tie and it will be reed carruthers playing the yellowstones that does have the last rock that's the exact same spot uh, where Reed uh, hit the out there the that uh, John Epping did in our tight game one. at edge of the four spot. It's All just right. it's pretty right, unforgiving. That's nice. Jamie's ice, and I like it. They just overthrew it a hair. Reed, he'd like that back. It's Reed's made a bunch of highlight reel shots Continue in this game go. so yep. far. He's made some incredible shots. Keep going. Let the easy one get away. Keep going. Here you go. Let's go, boys. It was a 3-3 tie at the Back break. Up. Playing the tick shot here to open it up. Brothers had a two-point lead after eight. Well, heavy. Jacobs it's a heavy replied half. with the single Close. in nine, Close. and then that steal half. of one Close. forces Close. this extra yep. six-six. Jacobs yep. trying to go to four Close. and one. Yep. Yep. Brothers Close. trying to stay in contention, not drop a fifth. Oh, what a nice shot! Colin Hodgson, oh boy, splits it off. Shot Hodge, that boy. Those shots are just made so often now. I think it's due to the ice surface, the rocks we've talked about. The teams practice them more. And and, and selecting the right speed. A lot of teams, when they first tried it, it was way. more of a yeah, board weight. Good. And then it was a little bit like laser eye surgery where you had to, if you didn't hit an eighth of an inch or less, you, you were banging the uh, enemy rock out of play and it came back so you're right it's just, and it just seems to be somewhere between hack and back line doesn't it yeah back line is probably the weight you see the most sorry right. i often think to defend against them you we've talked about that maybe you need to throw just over the hog yeah, line on your first sure. one just change the the distance and maybe the weight you have to throw at it hair less whoa. A little less whoa whoa just clean, just clean bud Whoa! Blast. No, right off! Blast. Whoa! Whoa! Close, right Derek! In. No! 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 I don't know what to do. It's perfect. I'm saying no, but it's perfect. I, I don't know, like, no to me or no to him? Or no. Doesn't matter. No is just no. Okay. Nice perfect. shot. Hey? It's perfect. Just over, guys. Try to make these peels tough. Right here. Line's good. Line, line, line's good. So that's... I know you're looking for any little advantage. Just over makes it more difficult? Yeah, because look at that angle. A natural shot, you want to hit about half the shot. You don't want to hit it thin. And now there's both angles, this way and that way. And it could hit one of those shrapnel things on either side, doesn't matter what color it is, and try to get something to bounce back into the rings. Easy. 
So watch how close this yep. red one comes yep. to the red one. Yep. Derek Semigolsky. Not, not a lot of close after all, but that's what can happen, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. You try and put it in a position that they can jam and spring back into the rings. Played that uh, 12 prior as a Manitoba champion with uh, Rob Fowler. Obviously, this uh, ends up close to the rings. It's a, it's an easy peel with no chance of a jam. Yeah, halfway. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Somewhere around here. All right, just clean it. Oh, oh. The beautiful part about those uh, two ticks from Colin is he managed to get his own rocks a long way away. So. If Brad Jacobs eventually has to hide around something, Reed's got the whole eight foot. And you uh, saw Reed Carruthers move out and in front of the stone just to see the angles whoa, whoa. and try to avoid those yep. stones whoa, whoa, that are whoa, cluttering whoa, up the sides. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dead. Stop. Sure, sir. Changing up the position, trying to get a mistake this way by moving the guard over. Try to get it to over curl slightly. Try to get it over here a little bit more. Pete, maybe hit it a bit. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, then. Quarter to a half, get it to uh, miss the two reds in the corner. Oh, oh. No. 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 Said thin, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Seemed to back a bit on that line. Yeah, a little but outward motion. Thought he there. said thin. Thought he said thin. Fry and fry. Just clean. Yeah. In turn. Now that an extra yellow is out of the way, they could, they're going to change turns. They've got lots of room on the left-hand side. It'd be very difficult to jam it on that corner yellow. Yep, got to go. Clean, clean. Yep. Clean, clean, clean. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, right to it. Guess he didn't like that out turn of mine. Or just I throw another center guard. I well, said, I think we got to go. I said ten on the first. I think we got to go here. What does yeah, that do? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what do you think he's going to do if we go there? Peel, peel, peel the guard. Yeah. And then, he, I, I think he's probably just going to like lob one into the center. Well, then we would freeze to it. Yeah, we're just taking our time. Is all. We go around. He's probably going to just like play one over here, which is fine by us, because then we'll just nose it and say, okay, make your hit for the... Do you think he'll do that? Or do you think he's just going to peel? Yeah, as far as we can, let him hit it. Well, I don't... Why would he peel that? The center's wide open. He hits But if that's the case... Put one in here, biting the eight. Well, we don't really want him to hit it, right? Or do we? I guess it's not bad. We want him to stick somewhere in the rings, is what we want. Him. Yes. Yeah. So if we're... So let's bury it. Like, let's, if we're going to do that, let's just bury it. Well, then he, if he freezes. Then we freeze. But that he's got, I think we want him to, I think we want him to hit rather than touch full eight. Right? <laughs> okay. Let's go for it. Well, considering what happened on his last challenge, Reed Crubbers yeah, and rolling out, it. is that the right thought process? You want him to hit? No question. Absolutely no question. I, I don't know what the big discussion was other than they might have been freezing the kicker here. You know, slowing it down a little bit. Uh, 
He can throw the center guard and hope he misses it, but good luck with that. Uh, get this buried. Make him draw. Yeah. Reed might just draw to the open side. You hit it, you sit two. And uh, I think that's what you can hope for because it sure worked last in. And that has to be in Reed's mind a little bit. Kevin Cooey and Hebert to hanging around watching. After they dropped their game to Mike McEwen 5 4 to fall to 4 and 2. And standings tightening up quite a bit here. Easy. Got to curl a bit. So far. Got to curl quite a bit. EJ. EJ, yep. Yep. Keep going, EJ. Yep. Yep. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. You're fine. You got a good one. Yep. Hard EJ. Keep going. Hard EJ. Keep going. All right. That's good. Shot. Good sweep, guys. Got. It's got half of it. Yep. Yep. Bump and just roll into the middle. Yeah. Just roll into the Yeah. Because we're going to hit it, even, right? Even to here is fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right there. Bump. Yeah. Okay. What they don't really want to do, what uh, Jacobs is hoping for, is that since Reed can't see a lot of this, he might hit and roll over towards the center line behind the T line. You glue one on top, and that really shrinks the scoring area. Bump. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty tough to get behind the T unless you're over here. Pretty tough with bump to get back there. And if Reed hits and rolls, and it looks like it's behind the tee, I think you'll How's see uh, Team Crothers brush the rock and get it back as far Good. as they possibly can and give Reed some more room on his last one. Well, and it speaks to Reed's uh, weight selection that he doesn't want to throw enough weight to roll very mm -hmm. far on that. Just bump her weight. Bump. Clean, clean. Well, off. Reed Brothers, his first. He has the Whoa. last rock here Whoa. in the sexton. Go ahead, Colin. Clean, Derek. Clean, Derek. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Pretty good. Okay. Whoa! Nice touch. Whatever you want, man. Shot, Blake. Perfect throw. Shot, Reed. Nice throw, man. Yeah, nice. get it out to here. I think that's a good spot. Yeah. Well, that's what you said you wanted him to do. Any second. Any second here. That's why we took the time off. Deciding when they, whether they want him to hit or draw. What about I that? I think he's going to make a peel pretty yep. easily. Tapping it back. Maybe more chance of him rolling out. Like he'd have to And maybe those. playing for the jam. Sure. Absolutely. You go back, tap it about a foot. I think we roll to this. Kathy. I'm just going back through my notes because I take notes as this game has gone on for the updates and Reed has played a lot of that kind of weight shots trying to get to the face of the stone he's played tap backs he's played all kinds of gray shots I'll call them very few draws if the Jacobs team think so here we go I think we want him to draw right because it's it's way easier to hit this and out count that than the last one so if you want to Hit and roll the shoe. Here, right? here, what you just played. Yeah. So you might just play the same shot because you guys can draw on four ends. That's true. Or you can play this, put it back to where you just made it. This can. That's I see what you're I, saying. This, I see what you're saying. You can, yeah. I don't. Well, you can get to here. Well, sorry. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'll give him a different spot. That might be a that's good That's a good point. Spot. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's roll to here then. All right. Solid control. Sure. Just positive. Nice. Sure. I always so have ready. to smile and chuckle. Because the guy that you're talking about is right <laughs> over your shoulder. I was just thinking he's that. Just, he's, you know, you want to read Crothers and say, hey, I'm here. I can, yeah. I can hear you insult me over here. That's right. But at the same time, you're planting some seeds if you're uh, Jacobs, right? Gets in your head. Oh, yeah. So they're trying to roll to the spot where he rolled out. Roll it. Whoa. Roll no, clean, Pete. Pete, clean. Yep, yep. Hard Pete. Pete. Hard Pete. Pete. It's right on. Hard Pete, right yes. On it's right on the nose. Ah. And they'll bang it right on the beak. Oh, Interesting. Uh, the uh, that's about the spot it was 
last end he, he, because we were coming the other direction. So it was an out turn that Reed rolled out high side. He's changed turns. Bump. Not throwing the out. That was a good bump. There is that uh, little biter now hanging on the edge yeah. as well. Mm. With these type of brushers and this type of ice surface, I'd, I'd love to see like a hack weight on something like this too. You know, you don't, you don't have to uh, throw normal. I'm guessing you know, he's, he's talking board here. For the win. Easy, easy. Here at an extra. Easy. Just clean. 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 Just Thompson, clean. Yep, yep, there, just there, clean. Braden Muscowie in the house. Sorry. And no I second guess, mistake as the hands come out. Brothers will pick up the win, scoring the single. 7 6 is your final. Brothers improves his record down to 2 and 4, and Handy Jacobs a second loss. He falls now to three and two. So it's really tightened up on the men's side of things. Look at that. With losses by Cooey and Jacobs, with wins by McEwen, Simmons to come up. And then Carruthers, Laycock, they're still all part of the story. Well, on the women's side, we know Rachel Holman is guaranteed a spot in the women's final on Sunday. Val Sweeting, Jennifer Jones, Sherry Madal will play for the other two spots. And of course, Coming up tonight, our featured game will be Val Sweeting against Jennifer Jones. Make a note of the time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on TSN 1, 3, 4, and 5. Considering all that they've played, this will be their first meeting of the season. As that will be our feature, Jennifer Jones against Val Sweeting. So until we talk with you again at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we thank you for joining us. The Home yeah, Hardware yeah, yeah. Canada oh, Cup of Curling oh. from Grand Prairie is here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN. Oh. 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 Oh.